uh, made this card from the, the red one that we just saw on the That's front. exactly right. So that red one that we made, all those little elements. And uh, do you know what? I've still got a box, got a little box no. filled <laughs> with the things that I made left over from... Uh, that's the addictive thing, though. You cut one and you've got more for the next oh, one. And it always sort of... It's never ending, man. Never ending. It's true. In a good um, way. Remember, yeah, yeah, too right. Remember, you're getting all four of the dies or die sets, rather. Uh, so they are all here on the top row. Do you know, when you listen to an album or something and you think there are some albums that, that we go back and listen to and every single song is just top notch, every single track is top notch. I shouldn't say song because I'm, I'm not 43, I'm 23. Every, yeah. every, every track is amazing. Yeah. That's what this One Day Special is about. It's a proper, it's, it's full on. It's by the way, by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Every by the single way, one. Oh, yeah. I was listening to Blood Sugar coming down today. <gasps> Were you? Yeah, I was. I was, See? I was, I was listening to rock and roll. There you go. <laughs> the guy's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, lovely geo designs from uh, yeah. Tim Holtz, of course, as well. Love that. Yeah, I love two I love dads that. talking about rock and roll. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, we should maybe explain <laughs> to the kids out there what an album is. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah Gosh, because yeah. they just stream yeah, in now, yeah, don't I know, they? I know. It's like, yeah. Basically, <laughs> it's like watching 12 songs back to back in, on Spotify or listening to it on Spotify. <laughs> um, yeah. but, um, I saw yeah. a song comes on the radio now and I think, oh, that was track two on side two. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sorry. Side two. What's side two? What's a B side? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's a double A side? Obviously. <sighs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> um, so, yeah, literally our 20 something crew, they don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, no. Yeah, but the viewers right. understand. You yeah, understand. Yeah, they do, they do. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, rock and roll of the days. Uh, yeah. So, neither does Craft Card. Uh, with your um, wonderful circle sentiments here, these are brilliant. These are they are gorgeous, aren't they? They're great. But, and again, versatile. There's a lot you can do beyond just cutting an aperture, as we've just seen. There's a lot. And we'll see that in the samples as we've got the counter, actually. They do creep into a lot of the makes. They do their crossover, don't they? Yep. Actually, uh, they Absolutely, they do. Um, we must mention the um, packs as well for these. Uh, these domes, they are back on extended delivery. You've just got 12 in this pack, but of course, you are getting two, uh, meaning you'll get 24, Kiefer Sutherland's favourite number. Uh, 11898 it is, on extended delivery now, uh, so there'll be another few days to wait. I tickled Pete there with that. Uh, 340978. And love everything so far, Pete, and it's still no letter with our festive things. Well, I, I'm, I hope it's not going to go downhill from here, man. No, it doesn't. Not at all. And do you know really? what? This, this set. This set, we said that there are 12 different dies, but each die contains several different elements. Uh, there's so much going on. And you know, and they're quite quirky. They're quite quick, and I've used like a 1950s sort of colour palette with the makes, uh, because it, 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 that's, that's what it says to me. It may be saying something to other people out there, but uh, I, I, just, I just love the quirkiness of it. It's kind of that traditional Americana Christmas as well, I think. But uh, you can make it what you want. That's the beauty of die cutting. You can do whatever colour palette you want. But I've used the same sort of colour palette throughout the different makes, mm. the same fonts. Um, but they're just gorgeous little elements, and you, you know, you, you could cramp all of these onto a car. You can use them individually. You can, you, could, you can have the bell or you could have the wreath in the back of, behind the stockings. We've got the skates there. You could use those with the Christmas tree in the background. They're just gorgeous shapes. But as we say about Tim, they're slightly different yeah. to what we see mm -hmm. uh, on the market most of the time. They've just got that little edginess, that little quirkiness. I think we can feel that in our desire to buy because you only want something and feel that you really want to buy something when you know that... You've not seen it before. Yes. You haven't got it. Yes. You're yeah. unlikely to find it somewhere else. The design. And that's the thing that will set your makes apart from everybody else. This is very true. Yeah. Actually, just if you do want to borrow some of Pete's inspiration here, Please I think, do. do you know what? That 50s colour palette yeah. really works well. So I can you imagine so. what your stall on or offline is going to look like when you've made your cards like that? I think it's a good set list. 14 99 plus delivery. You'll be making a lot with those. It's well worth the price once you're starting to uh, make for friends and family and to sell as well. Um, sorry, going backwards is not right. Oh, yeah. The Merry Christmas. You get both yeah. of these, two different you sizes. You do. You get two different sizes. Uh, great for adding. We talked about tags before. Mm -hmm. Pop this on a tag, it's all done. And we, it's funny, we came up with the idea, the same idea at the same time, Alex and I, the style of this, talking about 1950s. Is there a show which that reminds you of, that font? A show, an American show, it was very big, it was always yeah. shown when... Uh, Bewitched. I thought you were going to say that. You did? Yeah. Because I like said it before I could think of it, yeah. but I was thinking of it, I couldn't remember the name. Bewitched. That's it. And it's that very, very traditional sort of Christmas font. But it's all one day. That's all one day. So there's two different sizes, plus you get the bow. 
Yeah. You're getting that boat. And oh, it's isn't that absolutely lovely? It's a mm. lovely memory. That is, it does have that nostalgia to it. It's that I, th think, th I think we're going to go back and watch, yeah. watch 100 episodes back. We're going to stream them. That's I what we do now. Yes, you stream them these days. Yes, you wouldn't yeah. just wait for them to come onto the TV when you've yeah. had a day off school. Because yeah. uh, I remember it used to be on like 9.30 in the morning on Channel 4 yeah. or something back in 1980-something. Uh, introducing Elizabeth Montgomery. Yeah, and they, were, yeah. they were already being repeated from the 60s, obviously. <laughs> then, yeah. It was already yeah. 30 years old when I watched it. Yeah. So you've got that sort of 60s, 50s bewitched style mm -hmm. of that ribbon yep. font. We love Lovely, it. It's a gorgeous, bit of a throwback. Glorious. Um, now this is a very interesting one. This, this is, is taking paper pieces. Uh, yeah, this this is uh, Tim. As he's coming out with a lot. This is a technology called Colorize. Uh, there are 11 dies in the set, and each die on the back of each die it has etched in the back a color code. So it tells you which colour to cut with which dye. Now, the best way to explain it, it's almost like painting by numbers okay. with card. Now, if I could just hold these up, Matt, is that, do you trust me to do that? Or would yeah, you, you, would do, you prefer you, to do it? You, you, do you want to do it? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, you go for it. It's my audition, folks, by the way. Mm. Um, yeah. Right, there you go. So here's the first ones. So we've got skin tone, pink and gold. Now, those, it is etched on the back of the die to tell you exactly what those parts are. Then we'll come, that's black, that's the belt, and grey, which is the trim. How am I doing so far, man? You're okay. doing brilliantly, Pete. Yeah, can okay, I make fantastic. the next card? Oh, no. <laughs> white, white number one. White number one. Now, you'll notice that this is etched. Now, the die etches into it, and that, that are your, they are your registration marks. So that tells you where you layer up the next colour. So there's no guesswork involved in this. So that's white number two. You notice I use shades of blue. You can use just white and you can ink each one on the edges to get the definition. There's white number three. Now, red two and three. Now, I'll explain this in a second because we're going to come to red one. Now, you'll see that is the bulk of the centre, no pun intended. Um, and you can see all those lovely crease lines there. Now, that's red number one. And when we look at the next board, um, that's red one and two. Okay, so that's piece on So top. we're two starting, is piece on one. starting to layer it up there. And there's red two and three. So he's starting to take shape. Now, once we've had the trim and we add the belt, and remember the gold we showed at the beginning, the grey for the trim on the belt, that's all of it put together. And then this is the head. There, that's all put together. So that's your white one, white two, and white three. Mm -hmm. We've got the different, the pink, the skin tone, the gold of the glasses, and that's how it goes together. Mm. And then finally what we is get is this. This is the card. She's using, and she's using Sizzix card. This is using that lovely card stock, which we have, I think, on the show. Um, so, so yeah. So, I mean, if you want to do a green centre, mm -hmm. maybe, you maybe you've got a son or daughter away in the forces, and you want to have a camouflage centre. Yes. It's, it's a really good idea. Up to you. Or floral or partly floral and the rest Whatever. of your red trousers and a floral yeah. belt, maybe, or a black belt with a... Or just do him as if he's out at night time in the snow, all in blues, different shades of blues and purples. That's, That's very, very good. Blues and purples. Or yeah. mono monochrome, but different shades of black and white and grey. So Absolutely. Piece that together. Why not? Have a play with it and see. I think it's a great mm. concept. I it's can a see fabulous that really. concept. It's really cool. I can't wait to see more of those. Yeah, like there are more. And we've, and we've got some. We've got a wonderful fireplace coming up. We've got a snowman. We, I can't, can't say too much. Okay. Probably trade secret then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Zip it. Right. We're on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, zip it, Pete. That's giving me a great oh. idea for a TV show. Basically, you get a car called. I know. I'll, can I'll can we edit later. that when the show goes out? We're yeah. Not, we're not, oh. Okay. Yeah. We can take all that out. Oh, yeah. great. Smashing. Yeah. That's it's fantastic. It's lovely. Five eight seven five double zero to order now. Um, and then we've got. Is this the Bigs for the reindeer? We're coming yeah. into Bigs. Yes. Oh. Bigs territory. So Bigs dies. Um, to those that have never seen a big die, big die is a thick die with a steel blade inside it. So it, it, it cuts like a knife because uh, there is a blade in there. So, but you can cut multiple layers of cardstock or paper or tissue, for example. But you can cut through things like grey board, mount boards. You can cut any kind of textile. You can cut Metal. tin. Yeah, yeah, you, can, yeah. you could cut like a drink, a soda can. Mm -hmm. um, anything you can cut with scissors, you can cut with these dies. And that's what makes them so popular with Tim, but particularly people who are into mixed media, mm -hmm. who want all those different kinds of... So you, you could attach, say, lace to, or crochet to the front of a piece of grey board mm -hmm. and die cut it. Now you I see these the reindeers here. This is this texture paste was uh, applied to the grey board and then when it dried it was cut 
So, so it wasn't applied afterwards, yeah. it was applied before it was die cut. So okay. you cut through the texture paste and the grey board. So it's at the cut same afterwards, time. you threw all of those layers because right. the bigs can handle it. Exactly. So it's very cool, so you can create yep. backgrounds, do all sorts. Um, but the big, big, big for the sewers and the soft crafters because you can applicate Absol these on and well, felt yeah. and cotton, as you've already said. No, know. that's right, because you, you, you can do it with. Uh, now, that, that reindeer, imagine a table runner at Christmas. Yeah. So you want to go Nordic again, so you get a nice red table runner. And then you just attach a load of white reindeer to it. And you can see this one's similar. We, we've got that lovely star trim going down the center there with some gilding wax applied to it. We've got a circle in the background with a bit of a moon. And again, texture paste on the reindeer, a few techniques, a bit of gilding wax. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be easy. Simple. Well, if you're a new crafter or a new viewer, looking at that card and having just seen the demonstration, you yeah. know, you you know you can do it. You just piece Absolutely. together the right. You've got the right dyes in your collection. You can go for it. Indeed. So that's the reindeer. It's a really good new bigs. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine plus delivery uh, to order now. Uh, next up is the scroll here, the festive scroll. Yeah. It's a lovely holly sprig. Oh, do you know what? I adore this. Uh, as a designer myself, you know when you see something with great balance, uh, it just leaps out of you. And th and this the shape of this is just glorious. It really is. But again, we're talking about cutting so many different materials. Uh, and, oh, and the berries come with it again, oh, incidentally. Yeah. So, um, but we've cut a marquetry wood attached to grey board with it. We've we've uh, we've cut textiles. Now there's a lamp um, in the background as well. Yeah, and we this. just we just cut that with you know the um, fusible bonding yeah, yeah, web. Yeah, yeah, fusible web, bond web. Yeah. That's right. So we applied that, and then it was uh, ironed onto that before being sewn. Actually, nice. so is that a, a, like a fine liner that's put a faux faux stitch around? That's the faux yeah. stitch. Yeah, I've used yeah. a fine it's line clever, marker on that. I kind of yeah, cheated, but I, I know some some of the guys in work they will actually make the lampshades from scratch. Yeah. Uh, they'll sew them directly onto it. So. I mean, the fan group folks out there, they know what, they know what we're talking about. So. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I only know what I'm talking about thanks to guests like Pete and sewing guests that have taught me stuff like, over the yeah. years as well. I am going to clue. I wasn't born like it. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, 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 so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, anyway, um, right, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is a big, it'll cut anything yeah. with a big pair of scissors would normally cut, a bigs will cut. So yep. go for it. Uh, and that's your festive sprig, or seasonal scroll rather. Uh, mm -hmm. But to me, it's a holly sprig. So uh, next up is the window. This is the window. It, it, you know what? It's a lovely die. It comes with uh, lots of separate elements to build up. And because we're talking about a big day again, we are talking about thick materials. All the samples we see here were made based with grey boards. Some were painted thereafter. Uh, one was marquetry wood attached to grey boards. So you can see some of those separate elements there, yeah, the, the lintel, the windowsill, so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, it's just a really cute idea. I think it's yeah. something different. And again, we talk about you know offering people something different, something kind of off kilter, something just not the norm, but yeah. something new, something fresh. And I've never seen anything like this window die before. But you know, you can put you can put something behind that window because we, we've got one here where we cut the yeah um, looking in yeah. So, so we're looking, looking in from in. outside. Yeah. So that's got the Christmas tree from the festive things. Yeah. So that's in the background. We've also created some. Big snow as well That's on good. that one. So. Yeah, just a bit of texture paste for something. Or texture I'm paste with, with a bit of glitter added, just to nice. thicken it up and apply it with a palette knife. Very, very, very nice yeah. indeed. I mean, these are all lovely cards that you can make using these dies. And then because mm -hmm. it's a big, you can use it to cut through your card and normal paper and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, as it's a big, you can cut all the other things as well. 42196 is your item number. And then the Impresslets. The here. Impressless, These, yes. are, after we've had a chance to explain what they are, Pete, these have been really busy and popular. Oh, great stuff. Well, that's good to yeah, know. That's um, good. Because they are quite unique. Um, I don't know of a company that does this kind of thing. There are other 3D embossing folders, there are other thin lit dies, obviously, but combining the two. Two in one product, I don't think I've seen that before. No, not in such a, a creative way, I think. This that's right, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, this one you're holding up now, that's, that's radiant. There's two lovely star shapes. That's that's just glorious. So and it'll emboss or deboss, like, depending on which way around you are. Yep. You're looking at the card, um, and then it will cut that outline for yeah, you. Yeah, and it's kind of like instant gratification. You can cut these out of metallics or pearlized, and you get the light and shade playing on that. Or you can cut it out of dark cut and use your gilding waxes or powders or sprays, okay. oh, you know, to, nice. get, to, to get the sense of dimension. It's a lovely idea. They're so well made. I mean, it's, just, it's a good company, isn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah. 
Really, really good. I mean, these are proper thick quality, and these strips as well. This is yep. the one that you've used a couple That's of the times. The star already. trim, yeah. Uh, the star trim, so it's cutting the outside of your strip for you, mm -hmm. but then embossing or debossing, depending uh, which way you're using it. Um, for your actual strip there. Love yep. them. Really cool product. Really. Uh, we're about to see when actually in our next demo. Okay, stay tuned. There's yep. also a freedom price, and these 2157 will get you all three, including your delivery. Uh, and uh, that is uh, item number 265299. We must mention the Big Shot, the machine of the month. Yes. Um, it's a lovely Big Shot. Uh, it's the machine of choice for so many people. I've got my Big Shot at home, and I love it to bits. Although I didn't get all of these uh, things with it when I got mine, uh, but you're getting hold of your uh, permanent pens there. Uh, if you're into your markers and alcohol marking and permanent marking, uh, you've got your dye brush for cleaning out your dyes, your uh, foam pad to work with that, your dye pick for getting uh, rid of all little bits, uh, your blending tool. I think you're even getting your craft knife. It cuts off there, doesn't it? You but your replacement sponge is like a main tool in the middle. You see, look at the craft knife thing. The, the, the barrel of that, those heads are interchangeable. So if we look just above the dye brush, that is an inking tool. So that slots on. So you can take the knife off, slot that on. And it's actually angled like a pen. Yeah. It's quite because some people struggle with the, degrees, you know, coming directly down with a with a normal uh, blending tool. So this one is angled like a pen, so you can actually use it like that. And then there's lots of different. Now, what I do sometimes, and this is a good tip, if you're using that tool, mm. now you can take your ink pads, for example. Oh no, that's not one which I've got. I'll find one in a second. Okay. But anyway. Basically, what I do oh is there's some Velcro underneath. Mm. Right, so it's a piece of Velcro which I've cut, and then the the individual um, blending pieces, yes. the foam, I attach it to that. So rather than have lots and lots of these, I just have the one, and then I can tear these off and use them Excellent. independently, and then just replace them when you're done. Perfect. Absolutely okay. perfect. You've got a little storage compartment underneath. Uh, it's a lovely little set, that, with the Big Shot. So it your sure Big Shot is. is your machine of the month. Get all the tools that come in it and the pens. 188351. Uh, you won't look back once you've got your Big Shot, honestly. Seriously. No. It's on three flexi buys as well. So, yeah, Pete, where do we want to go now? All right, we are going to use the Holly Impresslet. Um, and this is it. As we say, it's a 3D folder with the die together. Now, I'm going to cut black card, and what I do first, when I use any embossing folders now, there's a wonderful tip which I was shown uh, by somebody from our US office. If you spritz your card prior to cutting and embossing, what it does, it softens the fibers and it allows them to stretch, and you get a much cleaner, much deeper, much more detailed emboss. Mm. Uh, and when it dries, it sets rock solid. Mm. Um, you know, like say an old tissue that's been in your coat pocket. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. without getting into Courage too that much detail. Yeah. On the side of your bowl after. Uh, after exactly. Your bowl. You exactly. Rinse it before you put it in the dishwasher. There you go. And so it sets. Yeah, I get that. So almost sort of plastic. You, when you drop a flag, so we've done this at home before. When you've wet your your cardstock, you shape it or you die cut it or you mould it. When it dries, you sort of it, drop it on your glass mat. And you can hear it. That's it's right. Yeah. Plasticky, sound that you get that's still paper okay, stop. that's exactly right and that's what happens here so that because sometimes th this goes through so much pressure because of the 3d emboss mm -hmm. sometimes with certain papers what it can do is it can split the fibers so if you're inking afterwards the ink goes in these splits and it's not very pretty you do this every time i guarantee you will get perfect results mm -hmm. but i'm going to set that to one side because that's going to dry uh, and while we're doing that i'm going to i'm going to make a nice little background for my card on which to put this and I'm going to choose a few different inks I'm going to start with with this which is crushed olive probably one of my favorite colors of all time crushed olive it it's really is mix, that, isn't it? it's like a lemon and lime oh, it's, mix and it's a lovely chateaus yeah that's, yeah. that's it. it's like a, almost like a darker Chateaus, but but the beauty of distress inks is because they're uh, transparent. You can add yellow to that, and you will get almost like a true chateaus, um, depending on, you know, how much of each ink you apply. You're right. That's the it's beauty. Isn't a lot of blend. A lot of fun to play around with. Um, so that's broken china. So they blend beautifully together. Forest moss. This is an old favorite of mine, which I've started using a lot lately. Again. Um, and it is exactly as the name suggests. It's a very mossy kind of green. Now, I'm putting rather a lot of ink on this as well um, because when I spritz it, I, I want to get a, a similar effect that we saw 
in our first demo, but I'm applying even more ink to this, so I'm getting it on really, really thick. Really and nice. this is my wonderful, wonderful walnut stain. I love this colour. It's quite dairy, so I like this, because rather than getting like two different colours and then blending them in the middle and then thinking, oh gosh, I better not do anything more. That's it, I don't want get to it, get it wrong. You've got in there, yeah, five just different colours. Absolutely. Just... Well, I'm, I'm, having a bit of a, I'm having a bit of a distress ink month. Um, it was distress oxides last month. I switched between the two. I, I love them both. Mm. But there we are. We'll clean that up and then I'm going to spritz like so so that again that's going to sink in there we get some big blobs on there as well that's going to lift the color up and as it dries you it creates it, it the, the color spreads and you get these wonderful wonderful effects going on now as that's drying what i'm going to do let, let, let's take one of those colors let's take the crushed olive i think and i'm going to put it onto my craft mat like so we'll do the same with the broken chain we'll get a bit more of that in as well and i'm going to spritz that now this allows me to lift the pigment. And I don't know how many people know this, but what you can do with these distress things, you can use them like watercolors if you want to. Now this is a splatter brush, mm. and I'm just gonna create some little splatters. And because I'm using the same colors, they kind of pick up from the background. Um, and there we are, so that's done. And it's a cool little brush, this, this is a Tim Holtz nice. Distress product. It's, it's a brush. Yeah, it's quite neat. Yeah. And I'll just dry that off before I put the background in place. So there you go. That's, mm, yeah, that will do. Because it's live TV. We haven't got time for mm, this. Yeah, actually, what is the time? Is that, oh, no, we have got time. We're all right. Oh, it's, uh, we've got plenty of time. 43 past, 43, 57, 14 minutes or something. Oh, wonderful, right, wonderful, okay. wonderful. So, yeah, 14 minutes. Wonderful. Now, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some glue on the back of there. Double-sided tape, whatever you prefer, okay. and we'll just pop that, say around there. Now, now for the showstopper. Now let's get that. Oh yes, let's get that um, proper 3D. Re really, body. really 3D. Um, mm. And I'm going to get a piece of. Oh, so uh, that. when using your impressive um, impresslet, uh, it's about spritzing the cardstock before to allow it to bend and shape into the form you don't want to be because you're embossing it so deeply. That's right. You don't want it to split or anything. Yep, that's exactly right. And um, it's it's and any any embossing folder, any embossing folder you go, if you find that it splits your card, simply apply. Try that technique. Yeah, yeah. apply yeah. some and then. You, you'll, it'll change the way you emboss. Mm -hmm. So this is bronze gilding wax, and you'll notice I'm actually applying it to, to some scrap paper before cool. applying it to here because I don't want big globs of it. There's sometimes you can put your finger in the pot and come up with a big glob of it, and it makes a right old mess of your project. Can't so off then, can you? So that's it then. Yeah, well, that's it. Once it's done, it's done. Unfortunately, it doesn't come off. It's very, very unforgiving. Like, so uh, like burning a muffin in the taster. There's no going back. No, or over salting your soup or yeah, something yeah, like it's that. It's terrible. Well, I suppose you could try distilling the soup and boiling off the salt, maybe, but or scraping mm. off the burnt end of the muffin, but it's just not going to happen. It's, it's not going to happen. Not in yeah. my household. You need it's a chemistry set. Not. You do. You should do. You ever distill soup? Let us know. Well, this is, again, no, it's on a yeah. postcard to borrow Pete's friends. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> if if so. your kids know what a postcard is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Answers on Snapchat. Uh, goodness, yeah. yeah, whatever that is. Yeah. Um, so that, my friend, is that. Now, look, look at how that That's really lovely. lifts that. But I've used more intensity in the center with the gold and just the kind of the bronze on the outside there. And it's really picking that up and the light is really doing its job with That's that. Lovely. That's the, um, uh, the impresslet. Just one of the three that you're getting actually there. That lovely holly sprig. Uh, don't forget that you're also getting the other two designs for 2157 as well. They're all listed on this side as well. So you've got your holly sprig, the star trim, and also the other, Radiant was the other one. 2157 including delivery, 265299. And this is the quality that you get with Sizzix, a nice sturdy 3D it folder, is. and the die is embedded in there. It is a great, great quality product. I, oh, I price at do all love it. Like seven pounds something per folder, because you're getting the die in that's, there as well. Yeah, so, yeah it's that's, good. That's, that's pretty good going. Now, I think we'll put it like that. And how about that? That's transformed nice. the whole card. Uh, very simple, very achievable, nothing to it at all. 
But th th those colours with that gold and that black as well, it, I think it's got a lovely harmony to it and the balance with the phrase. It's another lovely one, that, Pete. Thank you very much. Beautiful word as well, harmony. It does come together so yeah. wonderfully, that. Lovely. It, it just gels, doesn't it? I it's another so. great example of what you can do when you've got the right dies, you've got the right impressibilities, the, uh, the, the folders that we use there. You get the right tools in your stock and away you go. Absolutely. Yours. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Pete. Pleasure, We've got no good problem. time for another demonstration, hopefully, Great. fingers crossed. Check the website in the meantime. Um, you've got things like your Geo Christmas uh, with Tim Holtz. You've got your Nordic Winter, also by Tim Holtz. That's the main uh, sort of background. Those are all part of the one-day special. But then there are the other dies here. You've got the Festive Things, which is separate from the one-day special. You've got the Christmas Ribbon, that Merry Christmas sentiment there uh, with the ribbon as well. The Merry Christmas is in two different sizes. The Jolly St. Nick is a brilliant pa painting by numbers, as it were, with your cardstock. Uh, that's on a thin metal die set. But also those three designs there, the reindeer, the seasonal scroll, which is the holly, and also the window frame, those are all bigs dies. So they'll go through anything a big pair of scissors will cut. And then you've got your impresslets embossing folders, a set of three. Now, normally they're $23.97, but I quoted you the freedom price on those, which was £21 something. Uh, and then you've got your 24 dimensional domes as well. Uh, they sold out earlier. They are back on a slightly extended delivery. I think it's a couple of days or so. Uh, and then you've got your stencil film very useful uh, for making your stencils out of your dies. Then you've got your cardstock. Pete mentioned this earlier. He said, oh, I've used the cardstock here. I think it's on the show. Yes, it is. It's there. You're getting 20 different colours and you're getting four of each colour in an 80-sheet pack. Uh, and you've then got your machine of the month, which is your Sizzix Big Shot machine with all of your elements uh, as well as all of your other goodies uh, on the show that there's no time to mention. But um, Pete, we're all ready with a nice clean working area. What's, uh, what's up your sleeve? Well, well, what's up my sleeve? <laughs> you say nice clean working area. I'm going to double check that I've cleaned Jeez, this off, actually, because th it's getting to this state, my, my craft mat, that I'm not entirely sure if it's clean or not. <laughs> so there yeah. we have it. I think that will do, lovely. Um, we are going to look at the dimensional domes. We're also going to be looking... So we're looking at um, the circle words from our one-day special the dimensional domes okay. and also the wreath and snowflake okay. set and okay, we're going to so use the snowflake this time that would be a good board to show that would be a domes. really good board to show yeah. thank goodness for that there i have go. passed my test uh so these dimensional domes were these are separate to one day special you can add 24 of them to your order uh, they were on extended delivery as far as we know um, and then they work inside here but also there with your words can I choose a couple of cards? Oh, no, we've got a couple down there, yeah. Um, we can pick out shots, actually, here, Pete. So, cool. to show you what you can do with these, or what you're about to do, there's a great example there. And you've got the number 25. Ah, yes, indeed. In the dome. Perfect. And we're going to do something very similar to that right now. Um, uh, I've got a little piece of card here. This was pre-printed. You can get a, use a stamp, whatever you want. I happen to do this uh, on my computer back at home. Um, it says, "Twas the night before Christmas. So, first, uh, 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 I'm going to, I think, yes, I'm trying to decide. I can't honestly remember what I did. But we're, we're going to add some, uh, we're going to add some colour again. Uh, at risk of being repetitious, I'm going to use those two lovely colours, uh, cr namely crushed olive and broken china. That's going to sit there in the background, um, thus, and I'm just going to leave that there. No spritzing this time. I just want that to very delicately lie in the background. Now, the night before Christmas, as we know, is the 24th of December. So we're actually going to use the number 24, and to keep that in place. When I'm cutting, what I'm going to do is use a sticky note uh, The great thing about these note is they're very low tech. They don't leave any residue on your card, but they do hold the die in place. Now, we'll take my, my platform from the machine. We'll put in the, the second layer of the platform and my other cutting mat, which obviously we didn't use when we uh, use the impresslet because the impresslets you only need the one cutting mat as we said so i'll make my sandwich thus and mm, i'm going to change where i put that I'm thinking i'm making an executive decision and we'll run that through there so this is this time again we're going to cut an aperture with this 
and it's just going to leave those little pieces behind. Oh. So there's our 24, which, as we said, was the night before Christmas. Now, the circle, you can see how this sits. If we could afford it, we'd just get by loads of these and stick them directly on the car. But we're not going to do that, because um, I've got some... This is a Sizzix adhesive sheet, permanent adhesive sheet. Okay, yeah, I am led to believe these. that we also have these. They are. Somewhere on the shelf, that's are. good when, to when know. When we were scrolling through, um, you did see them very briefly. Wonderful. Uh, they're the permanent adhesive sheets, and you're getting... They are six inches by six inches in size, so that's one sheet there that you have just cut that's into. Right. Uh, and the details are on the screen now. 260438, you get 20 of them. Yeah, and, and I happen to know that they, they, these sheets are what Tim uses for his colorize. So when he cuts all those pieces, there are lots of fiddly little pieces in the set. So he uses these adhesive sheets so that he doesn't have to be applying fine glue with a nozzle because that can make things quite time consuming. And it's always good with these adhesive sheets if you find the, the corner which peels off before you start, <laughs> actually, which I didn't. Um, but I'm going to place that directly over my cast stock. Now, this is double-sided, so that's one side. Then when I cut this, you peel away the other side thereafter, as we're about to see. Now, again, I'll place this face down. So it's 300 gram cast stock. It's a sticky sheet, adhesive sheet rather, and then the die on top, facing directly down onto the adhesive sheet, not on the other side. If I wanted to stick the die cut down, I would cut through the other side, but I'm going to do something slightly different this time. Um, so let's cut beautifully around the edges there. Just pop that out. There we have it. Just tease it out, I should say. Mm -hmm. There we are. Now, there's my die cut. The backing is there, and I'm just going to peel that away. And I was, I was explaining to Alex before, what I actually do is cut my fingernails 10 days before a show. You do? Really? Oh, so they're ready? Fastidiously, so they're just long enough for, to allow me to peel the backing off double-sided tape. The fingernail on your there. index finger grows longer or quicker than the rest of your nails. Possibly. Yeah, this one here. Is that it right? Does, it does, yeah. yeah well, that's right. good to know. That finger. Just that's good that to mind. know. I shall. Maybe cut that one like nine days mm. before the show. Now, I peel the backing. <laughs> I'm not quite that fastidious. No, I no. peel the backing off, off that sticky uh, adhesive sheet and I've tipped on some distress glitter. The good thing about distress glitter is whatever colour you're pouring it onto, uh, that colour will come through. So it's not like a white glitter, it's a clear glitter. But that's it. And that has really, Lovely. really picked that up. So um, the adhesive sheet, it sees double sided adhesive peel away one side of it to make that a sticky snowflake on the, on the top and then just get that lovely glittery finish on that's, it. Wonderful. That's exactly right. And I think, oh, I'm going to go with one of my dimensional oh, domes. Do. Yeah, now, they're in stock. Yeah, you yeah. don't need to. I wasn't going to do this with a dimensional dome, but as we've got them back in stock, yeah. I can, which is fantastic. So remember, Again, if you if you want to make this into a shaker card, then you can do so. You can you can add your glitter or whatever you need before before we actually get to that step. Um, and next up, I'm going to take some of these little 3D foam pads. Um, Wendy wants to know, Pete. Sorry to interrupt you. That's Wendy okay. wants to know, are you using an inkjet or a laser laser printer because she's worried about um, smudging when she's using a distressing. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I I use I use a laser printer. Laser uh, printer. It's the one that we have in the office. Um, so it's not to say you couldn't try. I mean, I don't know. The well, I do no. know the difference, but I don't know it in this terms. I, I know the difference, but I don't know yet what to, the uh, effect will be. Yeah, yeah, whether there would be a different effect. So all you can say is you use a laser jet. I use a laser jet. Now, uh, now I, I, I think most people with home printers, they do tend to be inkjet, don't they? Mm, I think I so. Think ours is, so. Ours is an inkjet. I, 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 I'm not mm. entirely sure, but yeah. there you go. We get extremely expensive mm. ink as well. So, well yes, indeed. You know. Use sparingly. Yeah. Now that place, see, see how it fits perfectly around that dome and around the oh, word as well. Re really. Uh, a lot of a lot piece. of Thank thought you. gone into this. Thank you so much. Perfect timing. No problem. I know that's oh, a right. card top, but it's about a minute left on the show. A minute left on the show. I think we can know. nail it. There you go. We'll get that nice inspected by Santa's Yay. Santa's elf and the quality assurance number. 
Last Love but that. not least, da, 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 a little bit of glue. The snowflake weed, by the way, that snowflake circle that is in the one day special tonight. Uh, it is one of those elements you get here with the uh, other wreath, the holly new wreath. You've got the circle words and circle number with the 24 and 25. Uh, and then you get that lovely backdrop uh, too, as well as all of the other geometric designs in your one day special. And Pete, it's a lovely card. It's a pleasure. And there's the 25 as well. That's using the other element with the, that goes with the snowflake. Oh, it's a quality one day special. It's an absolute, honestly, every track is an absolute blast here on is, all the is. four sets. Pete, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. We'll see you again at 9 a.m. tomorrow. 9 a.m. Take it easy. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye bye. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Hochanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Hochanda. Hello, and it's a very good Sunday morning to you all. It's the 7th of July already. Well, we've got Good Morning Achanda coming up, so do stay with me as I welcome some new guests and, of course, the Sunrise Specials. Don't go anywhere. Yes, a very good morning. Do say hello to us here at Chanda this morning. Let us know, know who's up bright and early. It's just me and Snowy again this morning. Uh, but we have got some guests coming in to see us as well. Um, and lots of uh, lovely special sunrise specials for you this morning as well with some bargain prices. But, oh, the deal of the day. Now, I've just heard that we're already busy for this. And I'm not at all surprised for many reasons, because we've got Sizzix for you, we've also got an amazing price for you, and of course something very, very seasonal that's going to be so useful between now and of course December, when you're making all your cards and projects. Now we've got the Sizzix Thinlet die set here, winter foliage, pretty wreath and the festive set, 37 pieces in total. 
Wow, all for a great price of just £15.97. That's a saving of £17, so that's better than half price. Wow, 697281, already busy for this. I'm not surprised. We have a one-day special with Peach Ewells with Sizzix as well, which has got fantastic items on. Um, but the deal of the day... Please don't let this one go. Let's have a closer look at it. So here we have, oh, this is our wreath. Now this one is actually designed by Pete himself. Now I've used this, I had this on one of my shows and absolutely loved it. Um, I don't think it's particularly for Christmas. I think you could get away with that at other times of the year as well. Uh, you can add other flowers into there as well. If you've got uh, other dyes or stamps that you want to cut out, you could add to that wreath. I think this is great for your mixed media as well because you could certainly put that into your backgrounds, gesso over the top of it very very useful lovely size as well let's just turn it around so you can see all of the elements there great size lovely little elements there that you can layer together use separately you could build that wreath up with as many flowers as you wanted actually really like that so there's number one Oh, and then we have our foliage, the winter foliage. Now, this is another great set. Let's have a look at the size of these. So you've got your holly leaf in there, you've got your fir, you've got your berries, you've got your mistletoe, uh, various different sizes as well. I love the fact that the berries are separate, especially these holly berries at the top. That means you could put clusters in yourself, uh, use, just use the three as they are, build them up, overlay them, put your gems on top, lots of scope with this one. I love anything that's got foliage in it because I find that it's one of those die sets that I'm going to reach for time after time. And not necessarily just for Christmas again. Okay, Holly, we think of Christmas, but I think the fur you could get away with, maybe build up onto the wreath actually. In fact, they do go beautifully together, don't they? You can make completely different looks. And then finally, we've got this one here. Now, there's lots of elements on this one particular set. Obviously, very seasonal, uh, winter orientated. There you've got, again, you've got some foliage in there. You've got trees, you've got bauble, you've got this stock in there. Love the deer, I've got to say. Uh, just a very, very usable set. Great sizes, these as well, whether it's for your card making, whether you want to use these in your scrapbooking, whether you want to make little uh, MDF projects up and use them as embellishments on there, you certainly can. Gorgeous. £15.97. Don't forget, it's there on the screen, £17 saving, less than half price. Now, it's extremely busy for this already. In fact, almost 10% of the stock has already gone. We have a large stock, but, ooh, 7 o'clock we launched. We're, only, we're not even four minutes in yet, and 10% of the stock has gone. So don't hesitate with these. You know you're not going to be disappointed. It is Sizzix. You know the quality. You know the value, especially when it's a deal of the day. 697281. Let's just give you a reminder of everything one more time, and then we'll meet you for some sunrise specials. There you go. There's all the details on the screen. All three dies for that fantastic price. It's not just one of them. It's not a choice. You've got 37 pieces in total. That's incredible value. Really, really like that. We've had some great deal of the days. 697281. There you go. Now then, we have got sunrise specials for you, of course. And we've got a new bundle of lovely items to show you this morning. Starting with, oh, I recognise this straight away. Now, you've got MDF Lantern here. Uh, now, you've got a set of two in one pack. So you are going to get two if you just buy the item once. That's what you're going to get, two different lanterns. There you can see it on the front of the package in there. That's what you're going to get as inspiration. These are the pieces that you're going to get. Great value. I know what it takes to cut pieces like this. I know the time involved, the materials involved, and that is an amazing price. Half price, just £12.99, saving £13, item number 661037. Now, I can tell you, I was in the studio yesterday. If you were watching this, you'd probably know that. But also, Ali was in as well, and she'd got a lovely sample of a lantern. I don't know. It was actually one of these lanterns. I think she'd put it on a post. Uh, it was part of a decoration for a set. But I said to her, do you know, that looks really, really effective. And she said, oh, I can tell you who made that. It was Crafty Devils. So I know this is the same lantern. So you're loving these already. Of course, you're getting two there, 12 661037 So many ways of decorating that up, I've got to say. Now, moving down, we've got some marbled paper. 
Now, actually, I really like this, and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I'm going to give a little, a little hint away in a second uh, about something that's coming up next week, actually. I'm going to keep plugging it as many times as I can and be a bit cheeky. Guess who's having a launch next week for a one-day special on Sunday? It's me. I've got a new papercraft range coming out called Vintage Chic floral romance. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, why I'm bringing that up now is because when you actually see the launch, the cardstock, the paper and cardstock that the uh, range has been printed on is like a, a really lovely parchment, so it gives it that authentic vintage feel. And I think this is just the same. I think if you print on this, you're going to get a lovely authentic vintage feel. Um, doesn't matter that you've got that marble defect on there, that's still going to print. You could ink on it as well, you could stamp on it. I just think it's got a lovely look to it. And you've got 250 sheets here. These are 100 GSM, so I can't think of any printer that's not going to take these if you did want to print on them. But of course, you could die cut as well. Uh, you could use these in various different ways. I just think they are perfect for a vintage sort of look. Now, it's an enormous saving here. You've got 20, that's not 20, you've got 70% off the original price. That's a saving of £24, just £9.96, 250 sheets. As I say there, 348928. Do you know, even if you don't use that for your crafting purposes and you use it as paper just for general use, that's still a great buy. They are so. Anyway, we're going to move down because we've got more to show you as well. Perhaps you're going to use that in your card making for layering up, doing your techniques, and then you want some envelopes. We've got a whole bundle here of assorted different sizes and colours. So these are obviously going to vary. You'll get a bundle that is a lovely mix. Uh, can't say exactly how many of each you're going to get because it will vary. Now what you've got here is the Dolly Dimples assortment. These are envelopes of all sorts of different sizes from DL. We've got A5 in there. We've got the square cards. They look like a 5x5. Five five. We've got the A6 envelopes in there. We've got pearlescent envelopes by the looks of it. We've got blue ones there. White and cream as well. All sorts of different sizes, including, oh, your 8x8s are in here. Really useful. So great sizes. Great bundle as well. Look at the price. £9.99 for 275 assorted envelopes. Great price. 622292. That's a saving of a whopping £15 on that bundle. You're loving these as well. Now we're going to look at something totally different next. Uh, we've got some lovely goodies actually. We're going to look at some glass effect gel. Mm, now then, these are already busy, so I'm going to take you to these. Um, I'm just going to move down, actually. I don't know if I should be doing that just yet, but um, if I get told off, I'll get off told off. <laughs> now then, let me just show you the colours, because you have got you have got various colours. In fact, you've got seven. So we've got the, the Viva Decor Glass Effect Gel in assorted colours. And I'm going to talk you through the colours right now. We've got Rose Pink. I'm just going to pop these down in front for you. Rose Pink. We've also got the Blue. We have also got the Crystal Clear, which is very useful. We've also got the, uh, the Blackberry there. So kind of a purpley blue. We have also got the amber. We've got a green and there is also a black. Now I haven't got the black one here but you will get a black one and you can see some of the black on the little swatch there. Now busy for this, over a quarter of the stock has already gone. It's a half price saving. Now it's not just for glass, you can also decorate porcelain as well. Um, you can have a lot of fun with this and things that I'm, I should imagine onto your acetate as well to do effects that would look really nice. Uh, but you, you obviously got an idea of what you're going to use this for because we're very busy on it. £13 and 49 pence is the price to pay during this hour of course. Prices go up at the end of the hour. 845193. Right, I'm just going to do a little back step. Now this is unusual. I really like this. Now this is an animation die set. I'm going to show you the actual die so you can see what you're getting. And then I'm going to tell you what it does because it's very, very clever. Now this is on extended delivery because of where it's going to be shipped from. It's going to be dispatched from the 12th of July, so not long. It's not far away. Uh, great price. Look at the price again, another half price saving, £9.99. Now, you don't just get the die. 
you also get this and you're probably thinking oh what on earth does that do you also get a little stamp now if I show you the stamp it's a little cat but it's not a solid you can see the lines in it when you make the card you pull a little tab and the card inside slides backwards and forwards which means the little cat slides backwards and forwards behind the lines and it creates movement it makes it look as though it's turning its head if we just have a look at the picture on the packaging I don't know if we can come in close to that it's a really fun card but what I think is when you see how that works I think you're gonna be able to design your own little images I really do and you see how the cat there look is, is put together you can see the lines I'm certain that you're going to be able to design those yourself. It won't take too much. Have a practice on a piece of card or paper. Then you could put your own images into that lovely die. I think this is a great idea. I think it's a lot of fun. Don't forget that die. You know, there will be other uses that you can find for it as well. So it's a great size die and lots of elements in there. Now, this is, uh, this is one of the thinner dies. So this is going to go through your standard machines. All, all good brands, of course. I can't think of anything that it wouldn't go through, actually. The Grand Calibre, the Big Shot, Sizzix, the Cuttlebug. Um, I can't think of a machine, actually, that it's likely to not go through. Uh, so, yes. I'm pretty certain that you'll be very safe to buy that regardless of the machine you've got. There we are, £9.99, £10 saving, 383415. Lovely little item that, really nice to play with. Now then, we've got some more dies coming up. We've got first edition dies for you here. Oh, I know this brand, I've worked with this company before. Now these are also an extended delivery, dispatched from the 12th of July. Not long, it's just a few days. These are very useful because you've got your tags in there. Look, these are interchangeable as well. You've got the decorative topper and interchangeable tag collection. So you can see there, you can change the wording within the actual die, the main die itself, or the background die. Then you've got the tags as well there that do the same thing. You've got the tag and various different sentiments that can go into it. Lovely set, just £11.98. Wow, that's, that's a really good price. That's less than half price. £14 is the saving. Thing. It should be £25.98 for both of them, and I think that's incredible value at £25.98. You are going to get use out of these. Let's just have a look on the back of these as well. Let's have a look. Think about using your tags in many different ways, not just for card making, not just with your cardstock. Do think of home decor as well and ways that you can decorate your, your MDF plaques, your grey board, uh, various different items. You know, really do think out of the box with your dies. They do much more than you first realise. Uh, stenciling through them, we've always sort of mentioned those sort of things. Maybe not so much with these with the stenciling, uh, but of course we've got many dies that appear here on Good Morning and Good Evening Achanda. So look at the possibilities with them all. 002905 is the item number for these two and these are a great bundle. They've got a lot of dies in there. In fact 15 in total. Now we're sticking with dies. Oh we're treating you with the dies this morning because we've got some spellbinder ones for you. Now these are nice as well so we're kind of on the festive theme with one of them because we've got the word joy. Now, it doesn't have to be just for seasonal use. Joy could be a name. It could be joy, just joy of the day, any time. But we do kind of think of it for Christmas, and you've got a little bit of holly in there, I can see as well. So if you do take a look at the image there, you can see how that cuts out. Very decorative. That makes a, a nice card on its own, doesn't it? Just the word there, um, because it, it's so bold. Lovely design. Then we've got the border. That's really pretty, actually really really pretty oh, let me just have a look at that photograph on the front oh if we can get in close on there look at how lacy that is that's really attractive on the bottom of the card there now I can see there's a cutting edge all the way around this but I think you could quite easily match it up and join it uh, so if you wanted a longer version or to go on a bigger pro project you could certainly do that as well I think there's ways you could cut into this but it's just a very very nice very nice decorative die. So you've got the joy strip and the holiday botanical strip there. Three dies in total. Again, I've got the saving on this one. Nineteen pounds and twenty pence is the saving. Just ten pounds and seventy-six pence for both of those spellbinders dies. Seven six five one six three lovely buy. Now moving on we've got Couture Creations. More dies for you. We're really busy with the dies this morning. Uh, something very different in theme. 
So we've got here, we've got the collecting shells and the cardinal frame. Another great saving of £18 on this one, £14.98, so just less than £15 for the pair. So that makes it, you know, a little bit less than £7.50 each. Really lovely. I'm liking the frame, actually. But there's the shells. I'm going to turn it around so you can see the actual size. Really nice size die. Again, you could snip into this one very easily if you want to cut out some of these shells individually. Great for your paper piecing. I can imagine popping in the colours inside the shell there to bring out the detail. One that is actually great for stenciling as well. I think this would make a really effective background. Loving that. Now the cardinal frame, oh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Now you've got two separate dies in this one. You've got that beautiful frame. You've also got this centerpiece here. But I'm looking at this. If you split this in the center on each side, you've got four beautiful corners there that you could separate and use on a larger frame as well. Very, very pretty that one. I like that a lot. Um, as I say, great saving, 18 pounds saving. Item number 414467. Now, I can tell you that the glass effect gel, and you are getting seven of these, I know we've only got six here, but you are going to get seven, limited stock on these. If you want them, please don't hesitate to go for these because they're not likely to last much longer. Details back on the screen there, £13.49 for seven of these. Great brand, Viva Decor. You're going to be able to use these on your porcelain, your glass, I think put them on your acetate as well, 845-193. Think of doing your Christmas projects these are going to come in all year round but particularly at Christmas you can do some fantastic techniques with these uh, maybe put something on your windows your window catchers your light catchers uh, maybe if you've got oh think about if you've got some clear glass baubles and you want to do personalize them they'd look great on the tree when the light catches now this swatch is a little bit wet I think still but you can see the colors there you can see that when they're dry they're going to keep the color but it's going to keep that translucency there you go. Technically sold out, that means all stock is allocated in baskets, so please do check the baskets out. If someone doesn't, we will update you, but we can say we're technically, duh, techni technically, can't get my words out, sold out this morning. That's not normally a word I get trouble with. It's these early mornings, you see. Right, okay. Right, uh, I'd love to drink coffee in the morning because I think it would help, but I, I only like my cup of tea. I just can't do the coffee. Right, there we go. We've got some lovely wire here. Now, I like this. I would use this a lot. You've got four 50-metre reels here. So, in total, even though my brain's not quite working, I can just tell you that is 200 metres. So, I did not manage to work that one out for myself this morning. <laughs> We've got fuchsia. We've got lavender there for you as well. We've got the light pink and we've got the lime green. Now this is lovely because it's a very flexible wire with a paper coating in colour. Now what would I do with this? You know what I'm going to say. I wish I'd got a little paintbrush or something. I'm going to have to do this by hand now. I would make little twirly things to go into uh, my flower arrangements when I make my clay flowers. I love to have sort of curly wire bits just coming out. I think they're lovely. You could put beads onto it as well and make little spray sprays into your floral embellishments. Even if you die cutting as well, it doesn't have to be clay flowers like I make. It can be uh, die cut flowers. Of course, you can use this for binding. You could use this for jewelry making. You could use this, oh, I'm just thinking, uh, when you make your bows, do you know, this is a really good tip actually. If you make bows and you find it difficult to tie a bow and get the ears to sit straight, just don't do the knotty bit in the middle. Make the, uh, the loops and then twist the wire around the centre to pull it in at the centre. You can do your tail separate. You get really lovely bows that sit flat and um, Oh, our lovely floor manager Matt's brought me a paintbrush. That means I can do a proper twist with these. There we go. Look at that. So easy to do. So easy to do. Do you know there's a really good way of making little jump rings this way as well? Because all you do, this might be a little bit flimsy, this wire for jump rings. Not, not for your, for your jewellery. It's great for jewellery, but not for the jump rings, this bit. All you do, unless, actually, this is good enough if you're making embellishments for your cards and you want little rings. Different size paintbrushes obviously get different loops. Pair of wire snips and just go snip, snip, snip all the way through in one go and you get loads of jump rings all at once. 
It's really clever. You could make this. Oh, now oh, Meg's just said something. I don't know why I didn't think of this one myself. You know, I make the little clay characters and the whimsical. What about making wired hair? You could have really crazy hair. That would work very, very well, actually. But I also use wire in lots of ways for my characters. Fairies wings, especially when they're coloured like that. Do you know, there's so many uses for wire. You're going to find tons of uses for 200 metres, that's for sure. £17.50 and pence is the saving, so it's another half price. Item number 078224. Now, I'm going to give you a reminder of the deal of the day. In the I've got to mention Mark from Totally Patch, because in the studio, and he's just, don't stay in the rod, the rod, but I think, I think it's clicked. I think you're saying you can make little glasses with the wire. You can. I do that for my characters as well. Little tiny glasses. So many uses for wire. I'm going to ask uh, Mark about that when I go and see him. But first of all, let's give you a reminder of the deal of the day. Very, very busy on this. Now, this is Sizzix. Uh, the Thinlets die sets. You've got three in total. Winter foliage, pretty wreath, and the festive set. 37 dies in total. A great saving of £17. So for less than half price, £15.97 pence for the next 24 hours, as long as stocks last, that's all you're going to pay. 697281. Very busy for that. Mark is here. Good morning. We have a show together, don't we? We do, now. yes, so later on. To I love doing the shows with you on part. Thank you. Really look forward to it. Was it, were you saying glasses to me Yes, there? it was, yeah. Um, ah. The reason for that, because we've got a... Um, I'm not going to give too much away. We've got a, a creation later in the year uh -huh. that have got that's got wire glasses. Ah. That's all I'm going to say. And when you were saying I'm you were twisting it around the, the yes. paintbrush, I thought, ah, yes. Yes, I, you see, I do make little wire yeah, glasses yeah. my little bears yeah, and characters. characters but as well, I yes. love wire because you can be very creative. Very, very with it. Uh, useful. Yes. Very, yes. Oh, I'm going to watch out for what yes. you're talking about there. I don't know. I've no idea, but I am looking forward to it. Now, Mark, we're up at eight o'clock. We are. Pat's already uh, ready Setting to go with some demonstrations. Yes. Yeah. You've got some gorgeous items on again today. I know. Oh, Sorry. beautiful. Sorry, people. Yes, please do watch at eight o'clock. Now, you've brought one or two items with you, so can we just have a little look I at what we've got here? I thought I'd bring this one because you could describe what some of the things are on there, actually. Yes. Because you know these things, don't I you? I know. This is one of my favourite things. It's the Prairie Point. I love it. It is, I yeah. Love it. And it just gives a bit of um, depth, a bit of character to the cushions. I love as well. that when I see it in your quilts. The technique yeah. is not difficult. It's not difficult. As I've seen it done, I've not, I've still not done it myself yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I love watching it. But I, I, every time I see it, yeah. I always think of you and Pat actually it, because we talk about it quite a lot it, on your it's, show. It's a, it's a very easy technique. Yeah. But very simply achieved. Yeah. I love that. And you could put it on both sides if you wanted, Definitely. couldn't you? I actually love it as it is, but you could, of course, yeah. do that and change uh, the cushion. Now, this is a kit, isn't it? This You're going to get all of the fabric to make this. Everything cut for you. All these strips As always, with cut for you. patched. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, do you put festive cushions out? I do. I used to have one with a certain well-known bear on it, with his honeypot, uh, all in his Christmas outfit. Uh, but I think... Maybe. I want something a little bit more grown up now. <laughs> uh, so this would suit me perfectly. Now we've got some gorgeous fabrics as well. We have some different Christmas fabrics. Yes. They're not um, running a mill. They are from when we went to Spain earlier in last year ah. uh, and saw the Spanish supplier and they showed us some Christmas fabrics lately. Uh, and we're going to bring those in a Christmas box, a Christmas selection box of fabrics. Now I've seen, you're going to see much more than these two designs here. And this is just two of, the, two of the selections. Now these are in half metre pieces, aren't uh, they Mark? Yeah, half metre pieces and they're 60 inches wide. Wonderful. Have we got that upside down or the right no, way? It doesn't matter, does it? It's doesn't not matter. directional. It, you can use it anyway. Perfect. Now yeah. I love that because it, it's kind of the Scandi sort of effect on there. Uh, love the red and the white. This is just one piece. Mark's brought another one to show us. Yeah. There's ten pieces in the box. So you're getting 10 half metres. And it is a great variation of, yep. of uh, designs lovely variation. as well. That's why we've called it our selection box. Yeah. Chocolates Beautiful. are quite as good, but it is a fabric. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. And you can feel the quality, Mark, cotton. as always. 100% cotton, very soft. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yep. Wow. Oh, I'm so looking forward to doing the show. Uh, we've got some great demonstrations lined up. I do know that because uh, we've, we've done the little prep meeting. So, Mark, what is uh, Pat going to be doing? I know we suggested what um, we'd like to see. I think she's going to be doing the uh, placemat with a cutlery holder. Brilliant. 
Which Brilliant. is uh, already selling. It is. Yes, we're already busy on the placemat. Now, I, that's another one that, I, mm. that caught my eye when I went in. The fabric that's been used in the kit is wonderful as well. Uh, of course, at 8 o'clock, we're going to join both Pat and Mark. I'm going to be presenting. Looking forward to it. We've got a gorgeous new quilt as well to show you. So do stay with us this Sunday morning. Don't go anywhere. Now, you can go to the website and see all of the items on the show. We totally patched this morning. Uh, lots of new todays. Some absolutely stunning fabrics. Do watch out for that brand new quilt as well. We'll have a close look at that. It is absolutely amazing. Three flexi-buy options on that one as well. Now, we've got various books and all sorts to see on the website there oh look at that quilt you need to see this close-up we will show you at eight o'clock it is absolutely beautiful uh, but something very festive along the way as well you've seen the cushion we've got uh, wall hangings galore and the most amazing fabrics for you as well now, coming back to the deal of the day, we're just going to show you again close to hand what you're going to get because this is such a good buy and it's extremely busy. 37 pieces in total. It is Sizzix and we're going to start with this one here, which is the wreath. Now, you can see it's been, uh, it's got Pete's name on that because Pete Hughes designed this one and Pete's in the studio today. So there you are. There's all the elements from the wreath. I think you can keep this really, really simple or you could really build this up. Put lots of flowers on it. Um, use just the wreath on its own. Use the flowers on its own. Bring other elements into it as well. It's just a wonderful die. I've used that one myself because it was on a show that I did for Sizzix and it was one of my favourites actually. I absolutely love it. Now then in the centre here we've got the winter foliage. Another one that I adore because you've got all those individual elements there to build up your sprays. Again, you could use this on the wreath. Anything that's got leaves and foliage in, I find very useful. You've got the added benefit here of the berries. You've got holly in there. You've got mistletoe in there. So really festive, but I think there's certain elements you can get away with throughout the year as well. Um, those berries, the, the big spray of berries, actually, I would just use all year round. I think that's lovely. You could colour them as well with your pearl drops in any colour you wanted to change the theme of a card. So there is the centre one, and then this one at the end here. Lots of elements in this one on its own. Of course, we think of Christmas and winter when we see the deer, when we see the stockings and we see the mistletoe, the holly leaf, the Christmas tree and the bauble. Uh, that's just a fraction of what's in there. Really usable. Do you know, again, that's going to work so well with the wreath because you can build up a wreath of all the different Christmas elements. There's nothing to stop you putting the deer into a wreath, uh, hanging the stockings from the wreath. I can see why these have been chosen to go together. I think these mix absolutely perfectly. And what a brilliant buy. Look at the savings. £17 saving. £15.97 is all you're going to pay for the deal of the day. Now, I know we were off to a flying start with these. It should be around for 24 hours. A new deal of the day launches every day at 7 o'clock. But I'm not sure this one's going to hang around till 7 o'clock tomorrow. I think this is, well, it's already busy. I think it's going to remain busy, especially at that price. Item number 697281. There we are, 37 pieces. Wow, don't miss out on that one. There you go. There you can see them once again. Fabulous buy. This is one, if I'd not already got that wreath, I'd be tempted to go for this one myself because I haven't got the other two items. In fact, maybe I should go for that and gift that one and keep the other two for myself. Oh, possibly. Now, we have got the one-day special coming up, of course, at 9 o'clock. This launched last night at 6 o'clock. I knew it was going to fly. It was a very, very busy launch. Uh, of course, Pete's here. The most amazing demonstrations, as always. But what have we got for the one-day special itself? 22 dies. These are thinlet dies. You've got the Nordic festivities by Tim Holtz himself. Now, look again. You've got a gorgeous wreath in there. You've got a snowflake. All oh, the geometric elements there. That is so unusual and so unique but they look absolutely amazing you've got that lovely background dye there and you've also got the baubles that you can change around you've got the different um, elements to fit, fit into them the 25th for the date you've got various different designs lovely so let's wait until you see the samples if you've not seen them already now then I'm going to give you another reminder of the Sunrise Specials. Now, this one, and I knew it would be, this has been very busy. You're going to get two of these for a fantastic price of just $12.99. That makes it, do you know, that makes it how much per, that'd be 650 
Six fifty each, that's all to build this and these make a really generous size lantern. I can't build it totally, but if I just put that one in there and put that one under there and this is this is just the side you imagine that all the way around with the lid on the top the base on it these are really generous sizes two of these now i would decorate these in so many different ways you could put a tea light inside when the base is on I would be, being me, you know what I'm like with my foliage and my flowers, I'd be making a lovely arrangement to sit inside there. Maybe put a candle in, not burn it, but just put it in for show and build some foliage around it. That would look amazing. Maybe some baubles in there as well or put into the foliage. Maybe just want to decorate it with snow. Maybe you've got a little teddy bear or something that could sit inside. Oh, snow, we might be able to go in there. You could power text as well. That's Meg's suggestion. You could actually. Power text, once it's cured, give it time to cure. I think it's two or three weeks you need to give it to cure properly. You could actually put this outside then. Don't put MDF outside without protection because it is porous and it will sort of expand and, uh, and swell with any damp. But yes, ways of protecting it. I just think in a porch way, when you welcome people in, that would look lovely as well. Oh, I'm getting excited now because I'm thinking of all these ideas. I want those. Twelve ninety nine. Is all you're going to pay for both of them, 661037. No wonder we're busy on those. Now, the marbled paper. This is real. Actually, what I didn't say about this before as well, when you feel this, it's got a lovely surface to it. It's, it's extremely silky, actually, very smooth. It doesn't feel particularly porous. It will be porous because it's paper. But some papers are really fibrous and they just soak in the ink. You would be able to coat this, but I think the ink would uh, coat very nicely on it. I would definitely be printing on this. I'd be using this as inserts for my cards, um, maybe menus. Perhaps you're having Christmas dinners or you're going to a wedding. You want to make your own menus. I just think the effect of that is beautiful. Definitely, I would print on this and use it as kind of that vintage look. Uh, £9.96 is going to get you 250 sheets. All 100 GSM. It has got that lovely feel to it, but I don't think there'll be a printer that you can't put that through at that weight. It's just quality, quality paper. 250 sheets, 348928. Now, we do have more to remind you of, but we're going to take you to the website to have a little look. A little peperuse around there. The animation die. Don't forget that. That is so clever really clever busy for that one as well just nine pounds and 99 pence ten pounds saving on that really clever die uh, you can have a lot of fun with it don't forget the envelopes as well stock up on those while you can lots of dies on there we did sell out of the glass effect gels so I'm afraid that's gone that wire so many uses for that really lovely colors that is a great buy as well because there's 50 meters on each reel so that's 200 meters in total so do have a good look at the bargains only for this hour, of course. Now look who's joined me. It's the lovely Pete Hughes. Pete. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Are you, are you wide awake this morning? Wide awake. I'm oh, ready to go. Look at you. Yes. Look yeah. at you. I'm so half asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm trying my best. No, actually, no, it's well. lovely to be here this morning, <clears throat> and it's lovely yeah. to have you on the show. Pete, I did, and you will verify this. I'm not telling fibs. What mm. did I say to you before your launch? I said, this is going to fly. I, yeah, yeah, you did. You did, I actually. did, and yeah, it did fly. Yeah, yeah. She knows, you know, she knows. I, oh, you only yeah. have to look at the sun. Pete, yeah, and I know wow. what demonstrations that you bring to us they are always so influential inspirational um, I was reading some lovely comments on social media last night as oh, well that's, that's uh, nice. I don't know if you caught up with them but they were very kind oh that's nice that's always good to hear it's do you know what but uh, in truth it, it's so easy when, when the dyes are such quality when the dyes yeah. and when they're so different I, th I think one of the things about Tim Holtz is he offers you something different something yes. just a little left of center so it, it gives it gives your making something special something yes. that the other folks haven't quite got he's always looking to push the boundaries looking for something new a quirky way of doing it but it still says christmas very much christmas it and this is no us. exception it's a wonderful collection well of just just look at what's in front of us here now we had a little look on the website at the uh, bundle for the one day special but look at these samples here I've never seen a santa like this one i just think that is an amazing die set you wouldn't even think that's come from a die. You, you wouldn't intrigue. Well, it's, it's actually come from 11 dies, and each die on the back has the colour coding etched. 
so you know, uh, you know whether it's red one, red two, red three, and you put those three different shades of red together, and it gives you that depth and dimension. And it's kind of like the analogy we've been using is painting by numbers with card. So it's so accessible, whether you've never done any crafting before or paper crafting, uh, it's just as easy for somebody first time out of the box to get that quality and that effect as it is for myself. Oh, I just love him. Now, you can see that particular die set on the show, but that's not part of the bundle, is it? It's the not one part day of the special? bundle, no. No, it's not. Can um, we have the other sure. samples? Which ones are in the one day Let's special? Let's talk about the one day special then. So we've got, my personal favourite is called, no, I know we should oh. have a favourite, but this is Nordic Winter. Now, oh, wow. that one there, that that's it looks like a background, which it is, and that one we've used a brayer to get those effects. But it's about the little pieces that you get inside it as well. So if I put this one in front, you can see we've used a little bit of it, and we've used the little deer there oh, off the I love side. That. Now the word joy, that comes from our circle word set. Now you can cut them like that, or you can cut them as an aperture directly into your card. The strip that runs down the side, th this lovely strip here. Now that's a 3D embossing folder with a die in it. Oh, so I it see. cuts and embosses at the same time. It's a relatively oh, new technology. So it's nice, called impressless. Actually. So oh, wow. there's that one there. Now those are just um, so we've got the background, the Nordic winter. Yep. We've also got the circle words. Here's oh, another one using those circle words there. Now we've got the dimensional domes on the show. They're always very popular. Um, so that's one of the that that number 25 there. That's cut into the card. But you see this rosette that goes around the side. Yes. The, uh, the yep. wreath. Uh, we've got a wreath and a snowflake. Now those are sized specifically to work with the circle words and with the dimensional oh, domes wonderful. as well. So it's all joined up thinking. But yeah. the third um, of our bundle is the geo. Now we can oh, see, I we can see, you, know, you well, love the geo Pete. style, I do, don't you? I do. Yeah. Now we've seen various geo style throughout the year. We've seen spring, right. we've seen various animals. Uh -huh. um, this, oops, I've just oh, got one over. Right. Isn't that just amazing? I wouldn't put that away after Christmas. I'd keep that out all year round. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I, I just that. think it's so clever. And a lot of them can work all year round, but, but this one in particular. But um, it's so delicate, it's so fine, it cuts beautifully, and it's surprisingly versatile because you can actually cut that as an aperture, you can ink through it as a stencil, um, but then just adding Happiness. that geo detail on the top, it, it cre you can create stunning things. We're relatively simply, you know. Yeah. There's not. I, I wouldn't call it anything advanced techniques or anything like that. It's no, but it looks it, achievable. and that's that's the key. And of course, your that inspiration. Waiting yeah. to see demonstrations again today. I know Pete's got some wonderful ones lined up for you. Mm -hmm. Now then, the one day special. We'll just give you the details for that. Of course, the first show today is at nine o'clock. Then there's another one at one, and the final call at five. There you go. You've got the 22 dies in total. They're the four sets that you're going to get in the one day special, saving ten pounds and a flexi buy option for you as well for, so for just 19 pounds and 98 pence these will be on your way to you and then the second payment will be made a month later what a fabulous buy 508 785 do not miss the shows absolutely amazing um i love Pete's style, as to so many people. I think you've got it to a T. I really do. <laughs> uh, so appealing to male, female, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I no. think they're just, you can spot yours a mile off. Uh, now, another thing I'm going to talk to you about, yeah. Pete, is our deal of the day because oh, cool. we have these. Now, this is incredible oh, for value. Wow. And one of your designs in there as well. It, it, yeah, the, the, that, that's right. The uh, the, the circle uh, wreath with flowers. Now yeah. that can work for spring. It can work for autumn. It can work for Christmas as well. If you do those colours, you can great, get great poinsettias. If you do it in monochromes as well, switch to autumnal colours, spring colours. You can use half of that wreath, wooden wreath. You can use the whole thing. It can be the centerpiece of your car. Very versatile, that, which is why I designed it because it's something that I would like to use and something yes. that I have used a lot. Yes, in the I've used that one as well because I was lucky enough to do a Sizzix uh, one day special a few weeks ago and oh, that was on there. Was it? it was. Oh. I think everybody was busy from Sizzix, so this Catherine, would you please stand in? Okay. And yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah. let me use your dine. It was it was very yeah. popular, I've got to say, okay, during the one day special, but I yeah. loved working with it. Yeah. But I particularly like this one as well because there's so many elements within that one set. So again, you 
you can keep it uh, very full if you want to make a, an arrangement of foliage there or you can keep just little bits and pieces I think it works perfectly with the circle wreath as well it's well yeah it's great you can but you I mean you can make a wreath of your own if you've got circle dies you can create that yes. circular wreath and yeah. add those to it but as you say you can use them independently or you can use them all together like that. It's a very versatile set, and if you're thinking about festive makes, it's a great way to go. Yeah. It really is. Oh, I can see that, uh, you know, on the top of parcel, rather than just a gift tag, maybe make a little arrangement of foliage and berries as well. And then, of course, you've got the other el elements there, all sort of winter and festive themed as well. What a brilliant mm. deal of the day. Pete, look at the price. £17 saving, £15.97 for all three. 697 281. It's been very busy. Do you know, we may have stock left in the morning, but I'm thinking this could be another sellout. But it's available mm. right now, uh, so do grab it at that amazing price. Thank mm. you, Pete. It's a pleasure. Uh, looking forward to see. I don't think I've got shows with you today. I don't think so. No, sadly. I'm just watching that. Think so. Never mind. No, I can no. watch from the sidelines with well, interest. Well, you're more than welcome. Oh, lovely. Welcome. Well, we're going to let you go and get ready, Pete. Okay. Get ready for your demonstrations on at nine. Uh, now then, let's have a look what else is on today. So, of course, I'm with Totally Patched at eight o'clock. Then it's Pete. Uh, coming up at ten o'clock, we've got Christmas Craft with Tudor Rose. I'm doing that show as well. Uh, totally Patched are back at eleven. Then we've got Emma in the in the building again today. La Encre and La Marge. I have no idea how to <laughs> pronounce that. If somebody knows it exactly how to say that then please let me know it didn't sound too bad there but if I did say it's our lovely Emma Blake that's going to be here that will help <laughs> festivities one day special of course Sizzix there at one o'clock as well clarity are in two hours this afternoon Emma's back again at four Barbara's doing the clarity shows don't miss those oh what a fabulous day we've got lined up Yes, Clarity, one day special, launching at six o'clock as well. What a busy day for Clarity. Really busy. And then, of course, back with Good Evening Achanda later on. I think I'll have gone home by then. Will I have gone home for some sleep? I hope so. Right, OK. Not that I don't like being here. I love it here. I'm just getting a little bit tired. Now then, MDF. You're loving this. I'm not surprised. I really want these to go and play with, actually. I think I've got some good ideas for how to use this. I'm sure you've got your own. You're going to get two in the set. If you want more than two, of course, you can multi-buy on them. Uh, it's busy. I can tell you when uh, things are starting to sell out, but you can certainly go for more than one at the moment. Twelve ninety-nine. £13 is the saving you're making here, so if you wanted to go for two sets, you're going to get four for the price that you'd only pay for two. Item number 661037. I think this is just such a lovely idea for uh, decoration around the home, you know, even in your office, anywhere, you know, wherever you want to decorate. Put your arrangements in there. Yes, you can hang it as well because you've got the, the little hanging piece at the top. I know that Ali did use one of these on her show yesterday, on her stitching show. It was part of a, a set and she'd put it onto a post so you can stand it up as well. So do think of different ways of hanging them up or standing them. Now, Andy's had a really, really good idea. What about putting a plant inside? A spider plant would look great because that would hang out. Um, but you could put your poinsettia in there, whether it's a real one or a, a fake one. Do you know, there's just tons of ways you could decorate that. Oh, I've had another one. What about with some acetate in the windows? If you were lucky enough to get the gel, the glass gel, you could use it on acetate and make some glass windows, some stained glass windows. You'd still see the light through. Do you know, we could go on and on with ideas for that one. 661037. Now, the marbled paper, I know we've been busy on this as well. I absolutely love this. I really, really do. I think, do you know, every piece, if you look at it, let me just show you two different sides here because one side of this piece is quite heavily marbled. The other side has got less on it this one again look not quite so much on that side much more on that side so they vary and uh, do you know you can choose which side whether you want to ink on them stamp on them whether you want to color the edges I think you could have a really nice aged look there I'm thinking Christmas again if you've got music notes to stamp on it cut pieces out and make little scrolls little scrolls of music I love to see that on cars and projects it's something that I quite often do 348 928 is going to get you 250 sheets 100 GSM so that means it's going to go through your 
your printers if you want to print directly onto it. Great for your card inserts, maybe table places, your menus, if you're having weddings, Christmas, dinners, that sort of thing. Fantastic. I know you're liking that one because we've been busy on it. Now, Dolly Dimples Envelopes, a whole assortment here. Now, I can't say exactly what's going to arrive with you because contents will vary, but I know, because I speak to Charmaine a lot about this, um, lots of variation in the assortment. You, she's going to make sure you get a good mix. So the white, the cream, you've got colours in there, different sizes. We've got A6, we've got A5, we've got 5x7 by, by the looks of it there. We've got, uh, they look like a 7x7 seven seven envelope actually. 8x8s eight are in this particular bundle. We've got what looks like a 5x5 five five per lesson. We've got DL cards. And don't forget DL go portrait or landscape. Really like the landscape DLs actually. I think they make lovely base then you've got, uh, as I say, various colours in the larger ones as well. In fact, you've got 275 envelopes here. Maybe think outside of putting cards into envelopes as well. Maybe make your little journals with them, use them for pockets inside your albums. So, you know, even if just keeping them for your thank you notes or your general letters. At that price, £9.99 for 275 that is a great buy. £15 saving, item number 622292. Now, you've been loving the animation die, and I'm not surprised. You're getting a lot of die for your money here. Now, this is on extended delivery, dispatched from the 12th of July, but look at what you're getting. Not only are you getting the dies, I believe you get the magnetic sheet with it. I'm hoping you do. Yes, you do. Uh, so everything's going to be kept nicely together. Even if you're not using the animation bit, look, you've got circle dies in there. You've got tabs that can be used for journaling. You've got a card base. You've got the rounded squares. But the idea of this, if you look at the packaging, is to make a very clever animated card. So what else you're getting in here is this acetate sheet with the lines on it. You do get a stamped image as well there. And you can see on the back of the packaging that the stamped image itself it isn't a solid, you've got those lines there. And what happens when you draw the card backwards and forwards, because there'll be a tab created that you pull, it means that it's a moving little cat and it makes its head look as if it's turning and it moves about. It's really, really clever. You need to make it up to see exactly how it works properly. But when you follow the guidelines of this particular stamp, I think you could draw your own characters or words even and uh, devise your own techniques of making backgrounds for that that you can use in that die set. Do you know what, with your acetate, do you know when you get the, um, the peel off borders? I'm thinking maybe if you go with the straight lines you can make extra of these as well. So you could make more of these to put in your cards. Wonderful. Now then, £9.99, £10 saving, item number 383415. Now, more dies for you because we've got the first edition dies. Now, these are also on extended delivery, but not long to wait again. The 12th of July, you're getting a lot for your money here. Original price, I've got to say, is incredible at £25.98 because you're getting 15 dies here. That's quite a lot of metal in these as well because they're quite solid. But look at the price today. In this hour, I'm saying today, of course, the price will go up at 8 o'clock. £11.98 is the price you're going to pay right now for for all 15 dies. So you've got uh, two sets here, the decorative topper and the interchangeable tag collection. So the base there of this particular die, you can change the sentiments in there and switch them around. You've got decorative elements as well as the wording. If I just turn that round so you can see on the back, so that makes it very, very clear. Really, really usable like those. And of course, you've got the tag there as well. Again, various different elements to work alongside that. Uh, I think you've probably got lots of other dies and stamps that are going to work lovely with this set as well. £11.98, saving £14, item number 002905. Less than half price on that one as well. Amazing, amazing. Now we've got Spellbinders dies next. Now these are lovely, very, very decorative. Uh, two dies in this particular bundle as well, so not just the one, you're getting both of them for £10.76. Have a really good look at these because lots of ideas for the border. You know, you're going to be able to use that in so many different ways. Now it is classed as a festive border, and I, I didn't think it necessarily was, but now I'm looking at it. If you look at the top there, you've kind of got sort of holly, holly floralist sort of shapes but you know what I think you could get away with using that 
for the rest of the year as well. I would overlay that with some small flowers over the top or snip them out or hide them with a border so you just see the lacy scallop at the bottom. I think you could use that definitely on wedding cards um, and your really fancy luxury cards for a bit of decoration. Now this one here, a little bit more Christmassy, you've got the word joy, you've also got the little holly leaves there, but isn't that, let me turn it the right way up again so you can see the inspiration, isn't that lovely? What a lovely sample on the front of the card there. I think just that little bit of ink through the die, Stent using it as a stencil, makes a really lovely card. £10.76, there you are, saving of £19.20 on this one, item number 765163. Now, I particularly like the next dies, uh, the Couture Creations. Now, you're getting both of these. I think these are lovely because, well, you've got different designs, and these are non-festive, so you're going to be able to use these at any time as well. You've got the collecting shells, and you've also got the cardinal frame. Now, with the shells, let me just turn it around so you can see the die itself. You could easily snip into this paper piece into these, but again, a great stencil make great backgrounds with these. I just think that's so usable. Now, I love my frames, my flourishes, and I think this is particularly nice because it's a lovely size as it is. You're going to get two dies in this one, but I'm really seeing a way of snipping into this and separating so you've got four separate corners that are really, really decorative. So very usable indeed. £14.98 are going to get you both of these. That's a saving of £18. Item number 414. Four, six, seven. Lovely. Some lovely dies today. Then finally, we're back to our cord, our wired designer cord. Now, we've ha already had lots of ideas for this, but let's go through the colours again. And I'll just remind you that there's 50 metres on each reel, and you're going to get four metres. So that's 200 metres in total. Sorry, four reels. So that's 200 metres in total. Reel number one, this is the fuchsia. What a lovely pink that is as well. Gorgeous. Then we have the lavender which is this one here. Then we have the light pink and then we have the lime green. Now whether you just want to use this for binding, whether you want it for jewellery, whether you want to put it into your flower arrangements, whether you want to make mini glasses for your clay characters or as Mark has hinted there's something coming with Totally Patched that has wired glasses later in the year. I'm really intrigued about that. Do you know so many uses for your wire. I think this is the sort of thing, I know I do this a lot because I have got quite a lot of wires, different variations, different thicknesses. I keep them in my drawer or I I always try and carry some in my craft bag. There's always a reason for wire. I think, oh, what can I use to, to wrap this? Or what can I use this to tie? Or, uh, you know, to bind something? Oh, I've got some wire in my bag. Brilliant. Lovely the fact that you've got the colours there as well. £17.49 is going to get you all 200 metres, 50 metres of each colour, and you get the reels as well, which are really hand to keep it wrapped around. 078224 is the item number. Now, something I'm going to talk to you about now is the Clarity Craft Along with Barbara Gray. Now, here we are. I'm going to give you the details for the set. Now, the Craft Along set itself, of course, it's all Clarity. You can see the gorgeous designs. You have got a stamp in there. You've got a stencil. And you've got a die and sticker sheets as well. Now, everything that we see from Clarity is top quality. And these go beautifully together. I'm sure there's going to be some amazing um, products, projects, I should say, lined up for this. It's on the 14th of July at 2 o'clock, of course, two hours. I've got a feeling I'm doing that one again, you know. Well, do you know, I'm saying I've got a feeling. The reason I'm saying I've got a feeling, it was showing that on the schedule when I looked last night. But it's quite a busy day for me, so whether I'm going to get moved or not, I don't know. But I'm hoping I'll do it. I'm hoping I'm going to do it, because I really look forward to that, as I'm sure you are. There's the kit, £34.97. and pence. That's with an £8 saving. Item number 950347. If you've not got yours yet, you can still get that. And craft along with Barbara, of course, on the day for two whole hours. Very, very inspirational time we have with the craft alongs as well. Now, finally... Final reminder during this hour of the deal of the day. Of course it is Sizzix, it's the Thinlet dies. You are getting not one, but all three of these. The Winter Foliage, the Pretty Wreath and the Festive Set. 37 dies in total. I'm going to turn them all round again so you can see the actual size of the dies. 
and as Pete said there, and I have, I have genuinely, I've got this dye, the uh, circle wreath, because it was, it was given me to use in the Sizzix uh, one day special that I did. I found it so useful. I wish I'd have had this one with it because I know I'd have used that an awful lot. And actually, that is the perfect dye to also go within this set. I think they all work beautifully together or totally independently. Lovely designs. Always great quality with Sizzix. These are going to go through any of your uh, standard machines, whether it's a smaller version or a larger one, actually. In fact, talking of smaller, if you've got one of those really small die cutting machines, lots of these elements are going to go through those. You know, the ones with just a couple of inches for the opening, the very handy ones that you can take to your workshops. The Sidekick, that's the name of the little Sizzix one. There's various different brands with the smaller ones. Maybe not the wreath, the circle wreath, but certainly these smaller ones are all going to fit through the smaller machines as well. So great for on the move if you've got one of those for, uh, carrying around with you as well. £15.97 is the price for all three of those. £17 saving. Item number 697-281. Lovely, festive and winter themed dies there. Whew. Now then, thank you for watching. I've got to dash over to the other studio now because Pat and Mark are waiting there uh, to launch a brand new show, of course, with some lovely festive goodies. Not all Christmas, but there are some elements in there. Do stay with us. Absolutely gorgeous designs. And Pat always brings some wonderful demonstrations and we have a bit of fun as well. There you go. So do uh, follow me over. We're going to give you the menu in a little while. And don't forget the one day special with Peaches as well. It's something very special. Stay with us, actually, throughout the day. We'll see you very soon. Yes, coming up now, it's Christmas. Christmas is coming with Totally Patch, Pat and Mark. And then it's festivities with Sizzix One Day Special, followed by Tudor Rose Patchwork. Welcome to Hochanda's 12 Days of Christmas Credit. From Thursday the 27th of June at 6pm to Tuesday the 9th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you 12 days of Christmas crafting. Tune in, relax and enjoy Clarity Stamp, The Blanche, Crafts 2, Studio Light, Hot Felt Creations, Katie Sue Designs, Sentimentally Yours and many more as they inspire you to get into the crafty Christmas spirit as you start to prepare for Christmas 2019. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, make a purchase of any item and you will automatically be given £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day throughout our event, saving up to a whopping £60. So, get ready for Christmas 2019 by tuning in to our 12 days of Christmas credit from the 27th of June at 6pm. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty.
Oh, good morning, everyone. Yes, we're carrying on with our 12 days of Christmas, and we've got the lovely Pat and Mark here this morning, of course, from Totally Patched. So looking forward to the show. <laughs> we have got some gorgeous goodies for you. Now, Pat, I know you've been busy getting ready for your demonstrations, as busy, always. Busy. Yep. Very busy. Mm -hmm. I've seen you beavering away there in the corner. <laughs> uh, now, we have got some lovely demonstrations lined up, yep. and I'm sure you're ready. But we'll let you go off okay, and, I'll relax. and sit down and relax okay. for a little while anything, as myself no. and Mark go down the counter. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Thank see you. We'll see in a little while. Yep. Really looking forward to demonstrations. Now, Mark, we have got some gorgeous fabrics here. We have put together a Christmas selection box. Most people think of a selection box as some yummy chocolates or something like that, but these are yummy fabrics. These are yummy fabrics, and what a variety we've got. You are going to get all 10 of these. the half metre in size each, so 60 inches by 20 inches, and available on a flexi-buy option as well. We're going to open these out so you can see them a little bit closer, because you need to see the full detail of these, but they are absolutely stunning. What a variety, Mark. These Lovely. are gorgeous. Yes. 100% cotton. Yeah. They're from a supplies that we uh, have seen and used from Spain. Yes. Uh, they are 60 inches wide. Yeah. Now normally fabric most patchworkers use uh, is 45 inch wide, but I say these are 60, so you get That's a little a bit lot more of fabric. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, oh, beautiful fabrics. Gorgeous. Lovely and soft, and. You can They're feel the quality straight yeah. away. I mean, you did join me in Good Morning Achanda, and as soon as I, I felt this fabric, I thought, oh, this is pure quality. This is beautiful. This is so, we'll, sh we'll try and open them all out yeah. and show you in full detail. Now, you've got a certain amount of digi prints here. They this are being all one digi of them. digitally printed, yeah. yes. Gorgeous. Ah, isn't the colours in this beautiful with the red baubles? You've got that frosty winter feel as well in there. Oh, so many projects, Mark, you could use yes. these fabrics And because for. it's a big piece of fabric, you've got plenty there for lots of different Christmas items. Do you know, you, you really have, yeah. and it makes it such a good buy. Because of the extra weight there on these pieces, it makes such a difference to the projects that you're going to make. You know, whether you want to piece some of these together, whether you want to use them individual, yes. individually, these are gorgeous. Now, this is one of my favourites, I think, out of the whole selection box, as we can call it. Now, this is non-directional. <laughs> <laughs> it does work either way up, because you've got certain elements going one way, then another. But I love this because it reminds me of a Scan Scandinavian sort of yeah. Christmas. I love red Long and white. I love the gingham. Feel, feel to the thing, it has, yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. Really rustic. Love the greys in the background of that one as well. Um, what else could we make then, Matt? Let's have a think of some ideas because the cushions, of course, table, runners, yeah. uh, placemats, wall hangings. Uh, oh, cushions. Christmas stockings. Christmas stockings. Beautiful. Even something small, bauble type shape, maybe to yes. go with trees. Yes, definitely. Um, shapes of trees, all sorts. Oh, yes, all your home decor pieces, all your decorations. That is lovely. I'm loving these houses. Actually, I would take inspiration from some of these and stitch some actual houses and use the fabrics, maybe. And, and some, of the, some of the actual prints you could. Um, Fussy cut, just use the actual print yeah. and use that on a on card even Beautiful. or something. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. Now another one that I really like, oh, is this one. The snowflakes. I think it's the background colours that are appealing to me as well so much, Matt, because yeah. you've got those sort of rustic rustic colours, um, you've got the effects of wood there. It's so me. I'm going to disappear again, let's see. <laughs> I love, love, love this. I think now this might be actually one of my favourites because the more I look at the background with the uh, with the wood effect, yeah. you know, you don't have to choose though, do you? Because nope, they get them all. you're going to get them all. Everything and you're going to get them all. They all come oh. in the obligatory plastic box yes. to keep it all together. And Great quality box. And we're going to throw in a bonus Christmas pattern. Are you? Yes. And what is the Christmas pattern they for? They will vary. So oh. there will be a free bonus pattern in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, oh, lovely inspiration so give for you, you then. Yeah, to, to something think about, to do. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be a really cold winter and you want to uh, keep this for the winter time on those dark, cold nights. Or maybe you want to start stitching now and be making your decorations ready for Christmas. Perhaps you want to sell what you've made. Love this one as well because we've got that wood effect in the background. But it's really picking up the red and the blue, isn't it, yeah. from the detailed bits yeah. here. It's, it's not too that. strong a Christmas red either, this one. 
It's a nice stuff. You're changing your mind every time you see a new one. You like the next one all the way along, don't you? I do. I love these. Do you know what? We're going to show you the rest in a little while because we want to move along and show you the rest of the new todays. But you are going to get all of these. So the rest of them we'll show in a little bit more detail later on. All ten for that fabulous price. Two payments of thirty-six pounds and fifty pence if you want to uh, take the flexi buy option. Of course, six one eight seven four four. Oh, I do love those. Now, we've got more for you because we've got some home decor pieces as well. I really like this one, Matt. We have got a sample made up. This is the Holly and the Bows Hanging Kit. Now, you are, as always, with uh, Totally Patched, when the kits are available, everything is pre-cut for you. So, Pat and Matt do this themselves so that everything's ready to go in a little box. However it comes packaged, it's always going to be packaged beautifully. This is a great kit to make a lovely hanging yes. piece. The actual um, holly and bows is hanging it's over beautiful. on the shelf. It's beautiful. We will see there. that actually. Yes, we'll have a really good look at it. Twenty-nine pounds and forty-nine pence is going to get you the kit. Five 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 four one one is the item number, and uh, I think we're just about to see the sample. Actually, it's a really good size. But just as we wait for the image to come up for that, let's just talk through the fabric pieces themselves, Mark. These well, are lovely because you've got the metallic yes, gold got, in there. Yes, you've got a little a glimmer of um, Christmas metallic on the red. Beautiful. And on the green, the stars are metallic as oh, well. Oh, these are really, yeah. really beautiful. Look at the gold in there. That's just the perfect gold. Yeah. And the you've got silver, silver there as well. Silver with the, the little stars as well. They make the, uh, the bows. The item. Everything, as I say, already pre-cut for you, so you don't need to worry about cutting. Of course, you're going to get the pattern for this as well, so you could reuse the pattern with other fabrics as well. You couldn't have chosen a better red and green for me. Perfect Christmas they are red and green. Absolutely yeah, perfect. Definitely. Absolutely. Oh, I just think they're glorious. Yeah. And of course, you've all got the wadding. wadding in there as well. That makes all the, the, the padding for the actual yeah. um, leaves. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's have a, a proper look at the finished sample. There you go. I love this because you've used little jingly bells as the berries yes. in there as well, which to me are the finishing touch. You can see the bows there. Do you know what? If you wanted to make these uh, and extend on them as well, you could yeah, make much larger going, versions, yeah. couldn't you? You just have well. out your stash, yes, definitely. Oh, I do like this idea. I think they're fabulous. 555411 Bindi Half by a fire, it can go down wow. um, stair banister or, oh, that would look nice, or back of a door yeah. or anything like that, over a sofa. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You could change the way that you put the bows on as well. Yes. So, if you wanted to hang it vertically yeah. rather than yeah. lengthways across yeah. horizontally, that you would can hang work from as well. the bows like you told me. <laughs> You could actually, yes, <laughs> I did upside down to start with, but you couldn't really tell because it looks beautiful both ways up. Now, Oh, we saw this in Good Morning Achanda. I have a real soft spot for this for many reasons. And uh, if you didn't watch Good Morning Achanda, I'll tell you why. Because this is one of my favourite things, the prairie pointy. I love it. Now, I love the fact it's just on the one side there. You could extend it and put it down on the other side as well. I just think that really separates the Noel from the cushion. That is enough detail for gives that. It gives it enough balance as well, doesn't it? It yeah. does. Yeah. It's beautiful. Love the fabrics again. Um, you're going to get everything you need apart from the inner cushion itself, but to make the cover, all of the fabric and of course the pattern and the wadding is all ready for you in this kit. This is just beautiful. Let me turn it around so you can see the back. Again, you've got that perfect red. Envelope back. We always put an envelope yeah. back. It's so, so easy to get the cushion pad in and out as well. You've also, I know you've stitched here with a decorative stitch, that works perfectly as well, but if, just, you, if you haven't got decorative stitches already, not everybody has. It's just one of those that, do that. It's one of those that you might not use That's on your really sewing machine. With that little bit of cotton, I'm just going <laughs> to remove it. <laughs> you might not use a decorative stitch on your sewing machine, on the back of a cushion, yeah. try it. It's gorgeous. I really love it. There you go. Busy on this one as well. £23.49. and pence. Of course, you are going to get the full instructions as well. You can reuse the pattern once you've made with the kit and use the fabrics here. And use techniques in other projects as well, of course. 260244. Love that. Now, we have another little wall hanging for you here. This is a really lovely little starter kit now it's not a brand new today but no. many people won't have seen it before mark this is a great giftable whether you want to make it and gift it or gift yes. it as, as yeah. a kit as it very, is very quick very easy to do um you could hang it on a door if you've got visitors coming for christmas to indicate that's their that's their bedroom or where they're going to stay 
Uh, you could put it on the back of a chair. That indicates where the, you want people to sit. All those sort of oh. things when you're sitting down for Christmas. Do you know, that's a good idea. And again, once you've made this one, you can reuse the pattern and make some yep. more. You could, uh, once you've done it one time, I think, if you're quite new to soft crafting, this is a good easy project to start Very easy with. to start. And, and not only for, for adults. Children could make this Definitely. because it's quite small and, uh, and quick and easy to do. You could put something that smells nice in there as well. And I, I love the fact that it says Merry Christmas, but you could actually personalise with the name as yeah, well. Definitely. Love the idea about hanging it onto chairs. Yeah. If uh, if you know the head of the family has his own particular chair, <laughs> then maybe you need to put head of the family on there. Who knows? Yes. It's entirely up to you. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Item number five nine one seven three two. What a lovely little kit again. Everything pre cut in the kit for you with that pattern. Oh. Now then, we've got a brand new... Well, is it brand new this it one? Is, brand is it new. brand new? Yes, it, it is. It is a brand new one. It's not Christmassy. It's for all year round. Of course, you can keep it to, uh, for Christmas if you want to put it onto your bed or use it as a throw or whatever you want to do. This is a good size quilt as well. I need you to see this uh, fabric really closely because the detail and the gorgeous design of this, I just love. And the colours are so appealing to me again, Matt. You know I like these colours, don't you? Yes, they're your colours. Nice, <laughs> cosy colours, aren't they? Yes. They are. Yeah. I love the fact that you've got that kind of that sage green in there, the soft yeah. pinks, the blue, the blue comes through. You've got the natural colours in there as well, the neutrals. This is beautiful. Now, it's the Veggie Patch Full Quilt Kit. 66 inches by 66 inches is the finished size. Now, we can offer this on a flexi -bar option as well three payments so three payments are 54 pounds so that really does spread the cost nicely for you it's not that often we see three for three payments but we can offer it on this and as always everything's pre-cut and comes in a box for you like this and um, in fact it's exactly like this isn't exactly. it Mark? this is exactly the, the same box yeah. you're going to get the instructions of course and we are going to see this quilt really close to hand at the demonstration area but the detail on these fabrics is just divine. We've got little toastals in here. We've got, they are very small prints, aren't they? Yeah. But they're so pretty. I Soft. love the patchwork one. Yeah. When you see the actual quilt, you'll see that why we've cut all these squares yeah. to make it a lot easier for people. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, do go for this. If you're into quilt making, this is a lovely one. Uh, item number 691824, and we will see it really close to hand when we meet Pat at the demonstration area. Now, let's have a little look on the website because we've got much more for you. We've got some more new items at the demonstration area, which we're going to show you. Um, I think Pat's going to demonstrate something we've not seen yet to start with, and you're going to love it because you're already buying ahead of the hour. Uh, and, of course, we're going to see that quilt, but do have a look at the books we've got on offer the different wall hanging kits, those fabrics, all 10 pieces, they're on there as well. You won't be disappointed with those when you get them home. We've got various fabric bundles actually, uh, so do have a good peruse around the website. But we want to get to Pat. Um, now, there's so many goodies, actually, on the counter. Just before I do get to Pat, I'm going to remind you of our flexi basket. Because if you're spending £60 or more, if the flexi option's not already there, you can open up a flexi basket and spread the payment cost. Uh, so that's a great thing to keep in mind as well. Because there is so much. I could just go down there with my trolley <laughs> and just you scoop just it all in. in. <laughs> <laughs> you say that every time we come on here. <laughs> you I, really, I could, I could. I, I'm just like a kid in a sweet shop. Now then, this is something new today. Now, Pat, you're going to be demonstrating with this, I believe. Yeah. This has already been busy, and I'm not surprised. It's a kit that makes the two placemats. I love the fact you've got the little pocket there <laughs> to put your cutlery in. Isn't that great? It really, really is, and the fabrics are so pretty. Really lovely. I can show the fabrics in a little while. We've got uh, different fabrics to show you actually, but the, yeah. for the kit itself, there you go. Just nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Four three three two two four. That's the item number for this particular kit. You're going to be able to make two. The actual kit itself is here. So obviously, again, you're getting pre-cut pieces, and once again, you're going to get the pattern piece that you could reuse and also take the techniques into other projects as well. Isn't that just a perfect fabric? for this really really beautiful there's an extra little square there as well it'll also Love go with, with any decor that you've got in it your oh, it definitely room, will. living room or wherever you're going to have it certainly your, will uh, love it dinner, yeah. right pat so we're going to start the demo for this one i can't wait <laughs> 
really simple. I, I love this. I think it's stylish and simple, isn't it? It's, it's, do you know, it's kind of, it makes me think it's contemporary, but at the same time, it's very elegant. Yes, yeah, yeah I agree. And really simple to do. You can see, as, as usual, I've taken one of the mats out of the box. We wanted to put two in because with mats, you never know, should we do one? Should we do two? Should we do four? Should we do six? And we thought, no, let's just we'll do, do two. We'll do two. <laughs> let's just do two. If there's only one of you, you can give one as a gift. If there's two... Or invite a friend. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, right, so it's just made up of squares. Uh, they can go in any order you want them to go in. Okay. Borders, and then the little bit for your cutlery, which I wanted to Perfect. add. I thought that was really quite nice. So, all pre-cut for you. We're going to make rows as always. So, up we go. Right sides together, and we're going to stitch okay. them quarter inch seam. Now we're very busy on this particular option. We're approaching 20% of the stuff already gone. There is another show later on, and we're not that far into the show really. Only 15 minutes. So this is the placemat kit. Very busy on this, so don't hesitate on it. £19.99. Everything's free cut for you. You're going to get the fabrics to make these. Two of them is what you're going to make from this one kit, so it makes it exceptional value. 433 details on the screen. Uh, I'm chain piecing my squares through, so I've picked up two from the top row, two, two, I'm now on the bottom row. Wonderful. Right. And, you know, it doesn't matter which order you put them in, it's, I'm just picking them up. If you arrange them on your table and then try and keep them in the, you know, order you've placed them, if you don't, the world won't end with it, it's just a mat. Okay, lovely. And Perfect. I've alternated, you've got the right number in to alternate your... Uh, white and silver and your grey and silver. Wonderful. So when you put them together, if you pick it up like that, you'll know that your grey is going to your white one there. Lovely if stuff. you want to, you could do little lines, mm. couldn't you? Oh, of course, yes. Mm. Yeah, it's worth playing Individual, about with them, yeah. isn't yeah, it? And having yeah. a look before yeah. you uh, stitch everything yeah. together. I can just tell you, I'm just letting everybody know, we are very, very busy this morning. Um, the placemats, obviously brand new. We've seen those being demonstrated now. Very busy on those. Also, I can tell you we're very busy on the parcel hanging kit, which is a great buy, and the Noel cushion as well. Such lovely designs. Lots of new todays, lots of gorgeous fabrics as well. But uh, we are very, very busy. But do stay with us for the demonstrations as Pat works through the placemats. The fabric that we're using on the placemats are in two bundles as well. So we oh, on yes, we'll mention those yeah. actually. Because, oh, I, I know, too many, I know, too many I things. I got a bit giddy, didn't <laughs> I? No, I saw these. These are gorgeous. You've got three options. So this is the option here. Uh, we'll take you can them out. Oh, can we? Can yeah. we? I didn't want to undo that yes. lovely bow. <laughs> Oh, it's I get a quite a lot of practice well. in making bows. Is this bows. how they arrive with a lovely bow on like yes. that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you'd buy it just for the bow, wouldn't you? Just to have that <laughs> sat there, because it looks so pretty. Now, I'll show you the one I've got in my hand first. So let's have a little look. You've got the choice of the silver, the white, the red and the green here. So this is the silver. This is really lovely because you've got that metallic feel. Look at that. A bit of glitz Isn't to it, but it's not over the top, sticking to your hand. All those it's beautiful. Things, yeah. Oh, I love these, Mark. Really love these, and I particularly love them because I know this grave in particular would go so well in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice because it's got swirls on it. Oh, you are very clever at picking your designs out, and the stars there as well. So this is the silver option. Each piece is half a metre. Uh, great quality. I don't even need to open that out to feel the quality of that. Now this is the white one. Do you know, Mark's opened it out beautifully, so I'm going to leave it this way. Look at these slightly different designs in this one. You've got the snowflakes in there. Again, you've got that beautiful metallic feel running through, that bit of glitz in there. There's one more for you with the stars on as well. As well there, look, isn't that beautiful? It doesn't matter which way you go with the silver or with the um, white, they all match. So if you had both bundles, whatever you pick out of that one, we'll go with this one. Definitely. Now, if you want something a little bit more traditional, the red and the green, and I can't say anything more than this is the perfect Christmas. red and green for Christmas. And the gold as well, because we see gold in yeah. so many different varieties of gold. You can get very brassy looking golds. You can get uh, quite orangey golds, very green golds. But that is a beautiful, beautiful gold. Nice, Look really at that. nice strong metallic. <gasps> Wow. Oh, I can see these as gorgeous table runners stitched together. Yeah. I would want to use all those together. But even really more, you could, you could cut this, all this bundle, 
and make more of these mats. Definitely. Once you've got, bought the, the two that are there. Definitely. Make a whole table arrangement. Yeah. The runner, uh, the placemats, the coasters, everything by going for that extra bundle. So three choices. Item number 158, 914. So you've got the silver, the white, or the red and green. £28.99. What fantastic quality that is as well. All tied with a lovely bow. <laughs> Don't forget, I've got to mention the bow. It's worth having the bow. It really is. Save that. 158, 914. For. It's those little touches, they mean everything. Well, we like, it, like good things to look nice. Yes, yeah. Yeah, why not? So, right. It shows the effort you put in, though. I'm not joking there, because yeah. we know how hard you work behind the scenes. We try. Yep. Try our best. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've joined my four rows, and I've pressed my fabric. On this row, I've pressed it away from me. This one, I've pressed it towards me, away and towards. Okay. So that when I pick it up, then my seams will be opposite each other and locking together. So they'll look like this. So my one seam's going towards me, one away from me. And if I peel it right back, because they're different colours, you can see exactly. So when you line it up, if you just, with your thumb, ease it in. You can feel if they match, um, and that makes it even to sew. So Lovely. just remember that as, as much as you can with everything that you're okay. um, sewing. I don't know about the sewing machine. It's having know. a funny, funny morning, the sewing machine, isn't it? Well, no, it's having a. Am I coming here with you again? <laughs> it could be an answer to that very quickly, I think. I think it's because oh. this morning I've only got a refresh. The sewing yeah. machine's going to end up on the notice set. I think it is because I've been using a, my, another machine at home, and then today I said I'm going to leave all my equipment because we've come in quite, quite a bit in the, in the next few weeks to each other next few months really I thought if I could leave all my equipment in one right box one everything place. I need and not unpack it and I, and I said I'm going to leave you in there and now <laughs> it's, it's, I it's don't, a funny five minutes saying you're not I leaving me behind. Yes. to come home with it's me. retaliating yeah. Yeah, <laughs> rebelling so. rebelling yeah. yes oh dear let's have a go okay so if you, final chance or you're never coming again there we go see you you've got to so just got to yeah. be a little bit firmer a little yeah. bit sterner <laughs> It was quite funny because I was, I've was i been sewing on my other machine and I sat in front of this this morning, didn't I? And I went, oh! oh. Yeah, because <laughs> all, I mean, sewing machines are all the same, really, aren't they? You know, like you, cars, aren't they? You thread them, blah, yeah. blah, blah, but you, it's the other bits that you've got to... Do you know, I was just smiling there um, as you're talking to the sewing machine part, but yeah. I, I've just got to say, it's a very quick little <laughs> true story. Did you know... <laughs> I taught for my furniture. I was carrying a chair the other day and I banged into the wall and I went, ouch! I don't know why, but I did! I went, ouch! It didn't hit me, it was the chair that hit the wall. So See, you were talking to the chair. Crazy, aren't we? Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know why, I've never done that All before, it's crazy. just very strange. So, opposite, <laughs> seems are opposite again. Um, makes for ease of sewing and everything. Here he goes. Again, it's a lovely kit. This is a starter kit, yeah. isn't it? Because you've got the squares. Easy to do. Very it's easy to do. Lovely gifts as well, whether you want to gift yeah. the whole set mm. or you could separate them and give one uh, placemat to somebody and another one to somebody yeah. else. You could embellish well. your name on it. That would be perfect, Ooh. wouldn't it? Oh, mm. yes, definitely personalisation. That's what I like. So, three rows. I like doing this like real time, this is, isn't it? It yeah. is, yeah. Real time. I, I can't believe we're all talking about Christmas anyway. And we're like planning ahead, I think people are. Are they? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Let's yes, see. but if you do want to <laughs> yeah. gift what you make, then there's you, never a bad time to start, is there? No, there's not. And you've got to you've got to start because you leave it till November and then yeah. it's just crazy. Frantic. The thing about that though, you must remember where you put them. For this time of year. Sure. <laughs> We've all done sure. that, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> But if people have got a sewing room on their Christmas shelf. I know, wouldn't yeah. that be nice to have a dedicated mm. sewing room? <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to see mine? Job. <laughs> I'm still looking out for my little crafting caravan. Oh, <laughs> Have you heard oh, about that? No. caravan. Go on tour, are you with the crafting Ooh. caravan? Well, actually, no, it's just to sit in the garden, actually. <laughs> I just, it was after doing a paper craft show, and it was the most beautiful paper card from Heartfelt Creations that had a uh, very nice lovely decorated little caravans and campers in it. Oh, and I, thought, hmm, I can see I you could, in it, Catherine. Yeah. I, I 
what? I just want a car- an old vintage yeah. caravan yeah. that I can trim up, that I can stitch all my Lee, own Lee, furniture Lee, Lee, from. Yeah. And to use it as a craft room. Yeah. And I've yeah. on it and all sorts. It could be a little series on the chapter. They could do. And yeah, well, we did say that. Oh, actually. did you say yes, Catherine's caravan? That. Catherine's <laughs> caravan. Yeah. Oh. So I am on the lookout for one. If anybody's got one for sale, <laughs> I still haven't found one. Doesn't, doesn't have to be roadworthy. It it's just, no, no, it just doesn't. Just I've just got to get into my garden. The only problem is I don't have a tow bar on my vehicle. So <laughs> ideally, it wants to be quite close to where I live. So somebody <laughs> might kindly bring it to me. Not fussy, like you say. Just, if you could just deliver it. To it doesn't, doesn't matter if it's battered. It doesn't matter if it's got nothing in it because yeah. I'll, I'll mm. fill it. This yeah. could be, you could have... So many people. I would, have, I would love it. I really, genuinely, I'm looking for one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not joking. I, let me just say, <laughs> when you're um, stitching, if you're going to be stitching against your seam, it's best to sew from the side with the seams on, rather than this. Right. So if you do that, you can't see your seams underneath. Oh, I see. Mm. Yes. If yeah. you do this, yeah. you can see the direction that your seams are going in, and you you can see if they're twisting. Right. Yes. Got you. Good tip. Because when we sew our rows together, like you don't want to twist your seams, but it's so annoying if you do because yeah. you've done you've got to undo it. Well, you haven't got to, but. You know, you think, oh, I better undo it, shall I? I just want to get on. It's me. But it does help. It? So, just if you sew from the side of your seams, you can see where you're going. I was just about to say, we haven't mentioned the pattern. No, that we, haven't, don't we haven't. Well, yes, we've got something else we've not mentioned. Now, these are always a great buy. If you like what you've seen down the counter and maybe you're thinking, well, I've already got some fabric that I've saved, that I've seen before, but I love what I'm seeing, you can actually get this bundle, which has got three patterns in it. So what you get in here is actually the wall hanging there, the hollies, the holly leaves with the bows there. Beautiful wall hanging. I love this one. Uh, you're going to get that one. You're also going to get your placemat with the cutlery slot this is just a pattern remember no fabric included and you can also get the noel cushion as well so for 20 pounds and 99 pence you can be stitching with your own fabrics all three of those they're yours. I think that's a great buy, actually. 498104. What a fantastic bundle. Now, you've found those, and over 10% of the stock has already gone. But if you haven't found them, nice little, uh, little heads up there for you. So do bear those in mind as well. Okay, almost. Now that was quick work, well, well done, actually. Yeah. What, pressing those seams already? Yeah. I'm going to just put that there because I've put my top and bottom on, okay. and then I put one side on. I'm going to put the other side border on. Okay. But I just want to talk about this in case the pocket. Yeah, in case I don't get to just. I'm just going to say that. Okay. Soon. So in your kit, you've got this long strip, which is the same size as this, and that's going to go here. But to make your pocket, you've got a piece of fabric that looks of a, a funny size okay. because when I did it I cut it to, to a, 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 the same as this yeah. and it was single and I tried it and it was a little bit flimsy for the cutlery oh, yes. so what I've done in your kits you've got a piece that's twice as wide as you need so you fold it over and press it and then you fold it down and see what your cutlery fits if your cutlery's oh. got a longer <laughs> yes that's I've true got, actually i've got nothing to do have i if your cutlery <laughs> handles are longer yes, than but mine this is why you're so brilliant you see because that even never dawned on me until you just said it but yeah. you are so right because yeah actually i've got some quite bag and basement cutlery that I use as every day yeah and then I've got some really nice cutlery that my mum bought me and yeah. they are so much longer yeah and heavier yes and some people at the end have like a, a, a chunky yeah piece of metal yes, they piece do. at the end of the they do. And, and a knife and fork, yeah. so what you're going so to true. do when you've got to this stage is you're going to press it in half like so and the fold and um, it doesn't really matter which side the fold goes it gets in, incorporated into the seam um, and then you'll fold it down if you want it folded to there if you've got extra to long. the length of whatever yeah. you need yeah pop, pop them in i put them on top yeah. see, see? Oh, this is so sad isn't it <laughs> or if your cutler is short <laughs> you could put it in like that and then you could that is one. so Cute such, little i'm so glad <laughs> that you thought about that pat i really I am because i just 
it just didn't dawn on me, but now you said the more I think about it, yeah. you are so right. So yeah. you can custom make the yeah. little pocket. Again, it sounds so simple, but it is important. It is. It yes. really is important. You're quite right, yeah. So. And about, I understand what you're saying about it would have been a little bit flimsy, flimsy if yeah. it was just one thickness. Mm. I'm thinking yeah. of that cutlery that my mum did, but it's really heavy. Yeah. It's really good quality stuff. So you, you need to look at your cutlery and decide. So you've got enough fabric to fold it double and then fold it back to whatever size you want it to be. Do you know that's a great place to personalise as well on the pocket? Yeah. yeah. Name. And so if you make that pocket longer as well, you can fit longer names on. Yeah. Yes. You but can. don't go around other people's drawers trying to find the link for their cutlery <laughs> to see if you give it as a gift. You might get caught. <laughs> Well, actually, no, I wouldn't do that. What I was going to say was, I'm thinking gift-wise, you see, yeah. because I'm thinking if you make these, maybe you've got, um, you know, you've, perhaps it is for your parents, perhaps it is for your brother and sister-in-law, it could be anybody you want, your friends. Why not buy the cutlery to go in the, Ooh, in the pocket? Nice. Just add on that little bit extra yeah. to the cost, because you can buy individuals, can't you? You can buy yeah. eyes and yeah. thoughts of different qualities. Yeah. Yeah. So if you buy those, you know exactly the size that you're going to need and pop them in there uh, and give them in that way. For somebody who's maybe on their own or a bit older, it, what a lovely thing that they, when they sit down to their meal, it's just a little bit more special. Mm. Can I borrow one of your nice little bows, please, Mark? <laughs> I'm playing now. Oh, oh I, 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 I. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. You see, what I would do, I would buy the cutlery, make the place map, roll it up, and then put a nice little bow around, perfectly tied, and go. that's okay. how I would gift it. Make a gift tag to go on it. You can make look a nice that. fabric one. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Wouldn't that make a lovely gift, though? Yeah. It really would. Oh, if only I'd got more time. Exactly. <laughs> Me oh. too. I love shows with you two, but it just it just <laughs> wreak havoc with my brain because I keep telling myself I'm going to make everybody's Christmas presents yeah, this year. I know. So once you've got it like this, you've done your foldy bit, know how long your uh, cutlery is, you just sew this into the seam. So okay. can, can you just say that this and there, what you've got there, or what you get in the whole kit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's okay. the two you get. Yeah, yeah. lovely. So, so that's just a straight stitch, is it, Pat, down yep. that side? Just a normal seam, you've just got more bits of fabric in it. Wonderful. Would well, this be a good time to break away and give you a bit of a break? Just yes. stitch that and then we'll come we'll back to break. you. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Lovely. Right, we're going to take you to the deal of the day, actually, next, because this launched at uh, 7 o'clock this morning. Now, this has been extremely busy already. I'm not surprised. We've got Pete in the studio for a one-day special today, but we've got some Sizzix Thinlet dies here. This is a fantastic fantastic buy. Um, one of these wreaths actually, well the wreath, the circle wreath has been designed by Pete himself, but they're all Sizzix brand. You've got the pretty wreath, you've got the festive set, the winter foliage, sorry, the pretty wreath and the festive set there. 37 die pieces in total. Now look at the savings, £17 saving. Deal of the day price just £15.97. These are fabulous. 697281 and I can tell you over a third of the stock has gone already. And we're only in the 8 o'clock show. We're in between 8 and 9 o'clock, of course, now. Very, very busy on these. Um, if stocks last around until 7 o'clock tomorrow, I've got a feeling this is going to be another one of those deal of the days that sell out. Now, we're going to give you a reminder of what's down the counter, and I'm going to show you the rest of those fabrics a little bit closer as well. But let's give you the details, because you've got 10 half-metre pieces here. Now, these fabrics are 60 inches wide. You've got 20 inches of each piece. They are glorious in design. It's a whole selection box and that's what we've called it Christmas fabric selection box so we've seen a little bit closer some of the fabrics we're going to go through the other ones as well but you're getting them all you don't have to make a choice it's not a pick and mix you're going to get all of these now look at this another one that I absolutely adore isn't that amazing, that sort of contemporary look? It makes me think back to some shows, actually, for some paper craft and some dyes we had earlier on in the week with Emma. And I think Lou had something like this as well. I love those Christmas trees, the rustic Christmas trees with the, uh, the wooden planks there, with the script, and you've got the snowy backgrounds as well. Beautiful colours. That's another one of the fabrics that you're getting in this bundle. Then we're moving on to this one here, the 
glorious Christmas trees. Once again, the colours that have been used in the print are amazing. This is actually folded in half. You're getting double the width of them showing here. 60 inches wide. I really like that one as well. I can see that you can uh, add little beads and maybe some decorative stitching into that one as well. What about the stockings? Oh, these are nice. Let me just open this one out for you as well. The colours once again on this piece, really, really pretty. Now, is this non-directional? I'm going to hold it that way so you can see. We've got the stockings. Again, this is just half of the width because I'm holding it half, half folded. Little gingerbreads in there. You've got the birds, the doves are in there as well. It reminds me of those cookies on the tree. Love the stockings. You've even got the sort of elf type stocking with the curly toe there as well. Isn't that lovely? Then we have the baubles. Slightly bigger pattern design on this one, but just as beautiful. Uh, half a metre of each, I'm just going to remind you of that as we go through them all. All ten, very different in design. I can think of so many projects again here. The cushions, the wall hangings, table runners, um, you know, all sorts of, again, your placemats. If you want to go for the patterns, you can go for the fabrics as well and choose these to make your decor for your home. And uh, you do get a bonus pattern in with these as well. Can't tell you what it is because it's going to be a different variety. It's just thrown in the box for you as a little extra thank you from Totally Patched. Look at the Christmas jumpers. <laughs> I love those. Oh, they're fabulous. Uh, there you go. A flexi buy option as well. Two payments of £36.50. If you want to split the cost, item number 618744. And of course, brand new today. Now, coming up next, one of my favourites on the show today, actually, I love this. This is the Holly and the Bows Hanging Kit. Now, it is a kit because you're getting the pre-cut pieces. Just look at these pieces of fabric. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? wonderful so all pre-cut pieces for you to make this lovely kit you're going to get the pattern as well you're also going to get all of the wadding and then if you want to add any further embellishments like little bells or something like that you certainly can do 29 pounds and 49 pence is the price for the whole kit 555 411 and i'm sure we'll see that lovely sample as we go down further as well now moving along another very popular item on today's show and another favorite of mine i hope we're going to see this demoed actually this is the Noel cushion kit. So you're going to get all of the fabric again. You're going to get the full instructions. You're going to get the wadding. Everything pre-cut for you. Lovely design, this one. Over a quarter of the stock has gone. There is another show later, but uh, this has been very popular throughout this hour. The only thing you need to do is put your own inner cushion in there, which you can find those on the website as well. £23.49, item number 260244. Love that, absolutely love it. And then something else has been very popular, a little parcel wall hanging. Now maybe you want to gift this ready-made, if you make it up and gift it, maybe you want to give it as a kit. Maybe you're a new soft crafter and this is a nice starting point. But once again, you're going to get the pre-cut pieces, the instructions and also the wadding there, the stuffing to go with this. It does hang. You could put this on a chair, on the back of a door, on the wall. You could personalise it. I just think that's beautiful. Again, little bells hung on there would look lovely. Now, uh, we're approaching half of the... The, the bundle gone now, uh, the stock that we've got for this particular one. Of course, you can reuse the pattern piece afterwards as well. 591732, that's a great little bundle for you there. Now, the veggie pack, patch quilt. Now, you do need to look at this fabric. This is just beautiful. I love the colours. Let me just bring this forward. Hopefully, we can hold this opened out in a little while so we can see it properly. But let's come in close at some of these fabrics. You see the flowers, how they've been made up. You can see the veggie patch theme. So, little florals. We've got toastals. The rabbit. Isn't this just beautiful? I love the neutral fabrics in here as well, that very soft pink, the sage green, a little bit of blue coming through in there as well. Look at the carrots. Aren't they fabulous? Everything is pre-cut. Let me just show you the box and the pieces you're going to get. Of course, you've got the binding in there. You've got all of the fabric that you need. Look at how much work has gone into putting these together. Everything's pre-cut for you. It's going to arrive in this box 
beautiful box to keep it in, to keep all those pieces, just get out the pieces as you work along and uh, take what you need out as you need it. And we can split this over three payments for you. This does spread the cost, three payments on FlexiBuy. So if you want to take the advantage of that, £54 is all you need to pay now. If postage and packaging applies, then obviously that will be taken with the first payment, but then spread over another two months. That means you can get going and start stitching this before you've made the second payment. Item number 691824, what a fabulous, fabulous quilt kit and the size 66 by 66 inches. It's glorious. Now then back over to the website so you can see absolutely everything. Um, there are so many gorgeous fabrics today on the counter. We've got those silver, white and the red and green bundles for you that come tied with a beautiful bow I've got to say I wonder who tied that was it Pat or was it Mark I will find out now we've got the cushions very busy for those the uh, parcel hanging kit is also very very busy uh, the placemats have been very busy as well today we've seen those demonstrated but we want to see that Noel cushion so we're back here with Pat who did tie the bows do you do all the bows I do. Dear. <laughs> well done Mark yeah. plenty of practice I can see that. You've got it to a T. <laughs> <laughs> I love this part. Mm, nice. Uh, I, I can't believe we were doing Christmas, actually. Like, I, I suddenly was thrown into Christmas, mm. aren't we, you know, in July. You, know, so, you know, it's hard to think that way. So we thought, this follows our little theme of a bit of classy, nice Red and, and green, silver, white. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, normal kit with your everything in your box. I've taken out my... Uh, uh, components. You've got three strips of fabric in for the front of the uh, cushion okay. and you've got your little squares for your prairie points. Oh. And so you take your fabric, you say so take a square and you press it in half diagonally like that here is there. Then you fold that and you end up with one that looks like that. They're quite Perfect. dinky on this cushion, you're nice and small. Um, and a little bit, you know, I only put them on one side because I'm a little bit quirky, I like that. Uh, you've got your lettering in your kit, like so, N-O-E-L. Um, and you're going to trace that onto your bond web. Your bond web's got, um, you've got a strip of bond web and a strip of white starry fabric. So here's our Noel lettering. And it's backwards on there, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's backwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we're working it's on bond. It's not a mirror web. effect, when no. it's in, so I'm that out. Yeah, that's good, Mark. So yeah, they're all backwards <laughs> because when you're using bond web, as some of us know, you've probably done things and they come the wrong way anyway. By the time you've, you, they you think, oh, I should have reversed them. So they're already reversed for you. Trace off the letters onto your strip of bond web, like so. Wonderful. It doesn't, smooth, have, doesn't have to be any, 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 can be any sort of pen. Yep. Yeah. Smooth, smooth, smooth side it out. of the bond web. There's a bobbly side and a smooth side. You don't want to go on the smooth side. Yes, worth double checking before you bond it down. <laughs> Certainly. Because once you start cutting, that's it. <laughs> you messed you, up. You put that iron on the wrong <laughs> side and you're really done. Then you're going to put the rough side, so you've traced onto the smooth side of your bond web. It does tell you this in, in the pattern. You place the rough side of the bonder web onto the wrong side of your fabric, like so, and you end up with all your letters on your fabric, like that. You're going to press it into place, and then you're going to cut out your letters. So you press with a normal, normal iron, nice and hot. Give it a, like a little bit of, little bit of coming and going because you want it to stick. What you're doing is you're melting the glue, you're going to stick it to the um, fabric. Perfect. So you've done that. Then you need to cool it before Wonderful. before you cut it out. Uh, if you cut it out too soon, it it doesn't always, but it can peel off. So it's oh, best I to see. let it yeah. cool. These are a bit hot. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you're going to cut out on the line. So on the line that you've drawn. Lovely. While that's cooling and your cutting part, yep. I think it's a good time to mention the fabrics again because. The fabric that you're using there is also available in yeah. one of our bundles. Yeah. This is the white bundle. So let's just have a closer look at this again. Being very busy on this, so I, I just, I adore these. Again, all half metres. 
Oh, they yeah. are just, look, that metallic is just perfect. It's just enough. Yeah. It really is. So this is the white with the silver sort of shimmery effect going on there. So you've got snowflakes, you've got the swirls, you've got stars in there. I love that flourish. That is beautiful. Oh, Liz, if you want to do put the silver you do in that one. Yeah. Okay, yes, because they do work perfectly yeah. together. So you can go for more than one option. So Mark's holding the white. That's a quarter of the stock now gone. I've got the silver. They do work beautifully together. A quarter of the stock has gone on that one as well. I'm wondering, actually, if you are going for the white and silver and you are going to mix these together. I can't think of fabrics that would work more perfectly together, actually. So there's the white, there's the silver, and then, of course, we've also got the red and green as well. So I'm going to lay those out in front. Splash of colour. A splash of colour. Beautiful. Absolutely. I love the gold in here. And, uh, yes, there's, you think of red and green for Christmas so often, and I know I keep saying it, Matt, throughout this show, but... You get so many different variants of yeah. red and green, and to me, the specific shades of red and green that mean Christmas. You can get a red that's that is too, spot on. too orangey. You or certainly you can. can. It, it's yeah. too devil deep red sort of Definitely. thing. Definitely. Yeah. I just think these are fabulous. Gorgeous quality. There you are. £28.99 is going to get the choice uh, that you want, or the choices if you want to go for more than one. And four pieces, half a metre each there. They're 20 inches in length, 45 inches wide. They're absolutely stunning and I can think of all sorts of projects that they would work really well for in my little cottage. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Love them. Love them. There you are, item number 158914. Do you know what I would do? I would buy all three of these and the patterns. Yes, yes, we'll mention no. the patterns as well. That was a good... It wasn't meant to be like that, <laughs> No, it wasn't meant to be like Into the patterns. Don't forget these as well, because all three patterns for the Noel cushion, the wall hanging... And of course the placemats, all for twenty pounds and ninety nine pence, four nine eight one zero four. I would actually oh. agree with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> because yeah, you how can you make one without the other? No. Because yes, you're gonna make the whole table setting, aren't yes. you, mm. with the fabric. If you're gonna do the placemats, you want the runner, you want oh you want everything. The cushions, <laughs> yeah. you'd want more than one of them. Yes. Because it's not me. fair just to no. have one. And you can have a balance uh, on the sofa. So you can mix and match these fabrics. I just think, yes, you're right, Mark. Do you know what? Just buy the kits. Do you very just often? Buy, no, 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 no. Just buy the kits. Just <laughs> <laughs> buy the kits anyway. because it's all pre-cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot and of my customers... And then you've still got the pattern. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of our customers do love the pre-cooked things. Yes. Yeah. So, I can see why. And a lot of people can't do the cutting yeah. or don't like doing the cutting. Yeah. So, it, that you know, if you're that person, that's the answer. But I, I totally agree. I, we've, only, we've made them out of these, so... Yeah. You know. I, well, I do agree. It yeah. is... Everyone is yeah, different. Exactly. It's what you want. And yes, to ever, have everything pre cut, you haven't yeah. got to worry about making mistakes with the cutting. Yeah. Especially if you're new to sewing mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. That's the way I would go if you're quite new to sewing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go for the pattern, I'd go for the kit. Yeah. And that will sort of ease you into something, and then yeah. you've got the pattern yeah. to go with afterwards. Now, we're doing the Noel cushion, which yeah. is available as the kit or the pattern. Yeah. Um, and it has got my favourite elements in with the prairie point. <laughs> this is beautiful. We're very busy on this. I just want to show you the finished cushion there and also the back of it as well. Uh, but we do need to see more demo, mm. so we'll let Pat get on. So is, is that a way of telling me we've got to stop talking? Um, I think, it I think it's a way of telling yeah. me to stop talking. <laughs> And me to start. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, I'm, I've cut out a couple. Mark's going to do the last one, yeah. I think. Where, uh, well, I get I've done the O, and just to point out that you, when you've got your middle here of your circle, don't try and get into it. If you just fold it in half and snip, yes, then good idea. go from the middle and get your circle out like that. Okay, well, that's the day, then, is it? No, I've it's done tip of the day. Already. You always call me that, that's, mm. that's the one. Oh, yeah. Um, so, when you've done that, um, if it was me, I would put these on my middle section now um, and before I join them together, just because it's easier to handle yeah. a smaller piece. So, scratch the back of your bond web, we all know, and peel off your back. And then you're going to position them. A little bit, little bit higgledy piggledy on your uh, piece, if you like, because that's what I like. Or you could put them straight. Oh, that's perfect. I like them higgledy piggledy. <laughs> I like higgledy piggledy. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I can tell you a third of the cushion kit on its own is now gone. Uh, of course, some of you are buying the patterns, some of you are going for the kits, but very busy on the kits actually uh, because there is enough stock hopefully to get through two shows, but it is going very, very quickly. Uh -huh. And do position them on. Don't put one on and then the next because you might run out of space at the bottom. Yeah. Been there, done that. <laughs> you think, oh, I'll do that one first, and then you get to the end and you can't fit things on, especially if you're saying something long. So yeah. I would love to know, does anybody watching who actually has a Noel as a name in the family, and whether you would buy this kit <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. to give as a gift to Noel? Well, funnily, I was born on Christmas Day. Were you? Mm. And my mum was going to call me Noel. Oh. Yeah. But she didn't look lean. You could have been called Noeline and it could have been shortened to Noel. Mm. I don't think. But you called no, Patty. She used to watch a TV program with somebody in it called Noel oh, Gordon. Oh, I know. Oh, Noel Gordon. Yeah. I remember, yes. And I don't know what you were going to think. Yes, yeah. yes. Can I have my yes, own one? Yes, there's okay, quite an I'm obvious gonna, Noel, yeah, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. <laughs> but I do remember Noel Gordon, yes. Yes. So, and my dad said, no, no, because <laughs> he didn't like, he didn't like watching the program, so he said no. So, oh. so Pat, I don't know where you like home from. <laughs> so there we go, so make them look a little higgledy piggledy. Don't forget you've got a seam here, so you don't want it right at the edge, because you'll lose a little bit oh, of Oh yes, you don't want to stitch into some of the nope. lettering. And then you press each letter on. And don't sneeze. Well, they're quite big, they're right. <laughs> Give them enough time, and then you're going to blanket stitch around them. You don't, don't have to, but... Um, or hand, sir. Yeah, blanket yeah. stitch. Yeah, on the machine you can blanket stitch. Yeah, them. or hand. What have I done? What have you done? You have nothing. No, you have. Oh, I have. Yeah. No? You've done a blanket stitch around yours, I believe. I know. Oh, yeah, I have. Machine, 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 machine blanket stitch. stitch and then, then you've hand, hand stitched hand as stitch well, it. which looks really nice. Yeah. I've got to say. Let me just turn that there. Would this be a good time as well? Because we've just uh, put Noel on there yeah. to talk about the quilt yeah, and on. show that closer hand because yeah. we really need to see that opened out. We don't do. We? Mm. I'm going to move my pair of in case they get full lock. I'll move a load of things. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to put them over the top? Are we going to open it right up? I think we should. I think we should. You need to see it opened up. This is. Another simple quilt, really. Um, simple design. Simple design. The fabric's by oh, Annie it's Downs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big quilt. Uh, the fabric's by Annie Downs, who's an Australian designer. Um, very popular in the quilting world, Annie Downs is. And this is her range of fabric called uh, Down on the Veggie Patch. Um, so we called one of our ladies at our class. We were going, what can we call this quilt? And she said, I think it looks quite vintagey. Yes, and the veggie patch. So it's called Vintage Veggie Patch. Um, the, what I've just done with my Noel is exactly what you do with the flowers. But same principle, like so. So you've got a flower and a centre to a flower. You could put those onto your squares to start with. Well, you have to put them on your squares to start with. Um, and you could, hand, you could stitch around these before you join it onto the quilt. So yeah. in front of the telly, you know few of them each night and your nine patch is is just like the mat isn't it the christmas mat really you're just only nine squares they are just lovely fabrics once again Beautiful and the, fabrics. the colors are yeah. so gentle yeah she's they a really lovely are. designer pre-cut again for yeah. you i mean the work yeah. that goes into yeah. the kits that pat and mark bring to us yeah. is incredible you've got to think every single one <laughs> of these has been hand cut mm. think how many is in one kit mm. and how many kits are actually sold when i oh. when i organize the kits and i, I write down so many of this so many of this yeah. so many of this and then i pass them to mark and sarah who cut <laughs> downstairs <laughs> Mark, Sorry, Mark. bless him, his arms are aching. <laughs> uh, I and they you go, two talking on there, you're like, keep going. <laughs> they go, really? That many squares do I have to cut? <laughs> I almost forgot Mark was there then. <laughs> Just oh, well. imagine, we're turning the lights off at night <laughs> when we're going home and Mark's still, still there with the Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> it is oh, abs so, yeah. absolutely beautiful. It's it a beautiful, really, really beautiful is. quilt. Beautiful. Oh, I can tell you actually, we've been busy on this. 40% oh. of the stock has gone. Yeah. Absolutely adore that. You you're you're going to love making yeah, that. It's, it's so easy to do and so simple and so gorgeous. Of I mean, course. The fabric. And, and it's the nine fabric. patches there is just completely random. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's completely random. random. Yeah. It is all beautiful. Cut, pick them up yeah. one at a time. Yeah. And definitely not seasonal. It is for all yeah. year round. Now then, we're hopefully we've got a little bit more we can show on the yep. Noel cushion pad Back before we, uh, we're timed um, out. What time are you about later? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So we've got our N-O-E-L on there. Then we look to our prairie points. So we'll talk about these because it's just joining seams. Okay. So I want to uh, just explain. Could you could, could you possibly knock? I thought you were going to ask me to do that. Great. Oh, I'm moving myself up. Uh, because they're quite small. No, anyone just wants to do one to get me going. Um, uh, how many are on the cushion? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. And if I believe rightly, you've got six of each colour. So if you want to start with a red instead of a green, as I have, you can. Oh, lovely. I think. I usually do that because, you know, I don't know why. Well, really. no, you've got a spare then as well, just in, just case. in case. You can't do much damage with a prairie point, though, can you? <laughs> <laughs> so, start with your... Because they're small... I, I sometimes just whip them on, but because they're small, you need to um, position them onto your uh, cushion and pin, or tack, or both. Wonderful. Like so. And there's a little, in the pattern, that tells you how far to start up. Okay. Draw a line across there, and then that's where you Lovely. start. And then your next one, you pop on like so. Oh, I see. So like you, that. You sort of cover corners. Yes, you just cover the corners, just and it depends how yeah. ma how far you want them apart. Yeah. Uh, they don't have to cover. They can just sit. If I'll, I'll do the next one, so it does. Oh, that's hot, Mark. Uh, I'll do the next one, so it just is against it. Okay. And then I'll do the next one with a bit of a gap, and then we'll. If I turn, no, oh, I can't turn it away. I've got the pins in. Well, we've got time-wise, Pat. We've got about. Oh, 20 two seconds. Minutes, <laughs> just over two minutes left, two I minutes think, left. like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this completely wrong and show you. <laughs> I'm just going to stitch. That's not good. It is. Oh, good. I'm going to oh. stitch this on. Right, I'm going to stitch them on. There's pictures in the pattern of all this. And then I'm going to put a couple more different. And you'll see, because you don't have to put them the same as mine. No. They can be anywhere. I, I love the prairie point. I don't know why I love it so much. I, it looks first time wonderful. you saw it, you loved yeah. it. I know, and I haven't changed my mind. I think, I think part of it is because it's not flat. You don't have to stitch it down, so yeah. it, it's, it adds interest. It looks really pretty. It adds, it's easy look, to do. If you look at the cushion and think the prairie points aren't there, it's quite a plain cushion. Yes, yeah. Uh, but it I just, just love it. adds a little bit of something, doesn't it? Does. Right, so ah, great, yeah. So I've pressed these on. I've stitched these on now. Right, two of them overlapping as they are on the cushion. One of them with a little gap, as you can see, and one just butted up to the next one. Wonderful. That shows really well on there on the camera. Uh, so if you turn it round. I'll just press it so you can see, well the, done. see the difference. Now, just as uh, that's been pressed, we are very close to the end of the show, so just a couple of reminders of some of the popular items, actually. The Noel cushion has been one of them. The wall hangings, the quilt has been incredibly popular as well, and I'm not surprised. Once we've, we've shown you that fabric close to hand, I think you're realising the detail in there. Another show at 11 o'clock, so we'll bring that back to show you again there. Uh, Pat, we've got about 30 seconds okay. left. So we pressed and you can see the difference. They're still beautiful. Beautiful. So these are overlapped. The second one's got a big gap. The second one has got the, th the last one's just a small gap. That's where you would line them up I against see. each other. So any anything goes really. It certainly does. Well, just in time. Thank you so much for that, Pat. Do come back at 11 o'clock to see Totally Patched again. We've got many more shows, of course, throughout the day. Another lovely uh, variety of shows today. We'll give you the menu any second now. Yes, coming up next, we're back with the One Day Special. Pete Hughes is here with festivities with Sussex One Day Special. Then it's Christmas Craft with Tudor Rose Patchwork, followed by Christmas is Coming with Totally Patched Again. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparkle shows on Hochanda.
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Good morning, good morning, Pete. Good morning, good morning. How are we? I am good. Hey, I'm we had a good lunch it. last night, eh? We did, we mm. did. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. We are nearly half the stock of this wow. wonderful Christmas one-day special. Now, this is literally hot off the press. It's Tim Holtz. It was only released a couple of days ago. And now we bring it to you at a chander, and it's on a really, really lovely deal. And, of course, on FlexiBuy. Do you want to talk us through the set of dies? Which end shall we start? Shall we start of there? Of course, yes. That's the, the wreath and snowflake. Now, that is... It works with the circle words which is next to it but it also works with those lovely dimensional domes which people are getting used to now because they work with so many of the little small sets that Tim's brought out so the dimensional domes great for making shaker cast they're just really really cute but those are sized specifically to go around those domes although you can use them independently because they're just gorgeous gorgeous dies anyway and then of course moving on we've got the circle words which again in conjunction with the domes that's right so again you can use them with or without the dumps, they're great by themselves. You can cut them, as you see there, as an aperture into your cards. Or you can use any of the circle dies on the side to cut them independently to make like a kind of a ring. Mm. Um, but you've also got the little bauble topper and the hanging, uh, the little die cut. So you can hang them from, mm. from your trees or those mini trees or stuff like that. So that shows just using the circle words as an aperture there. Uh, and you can see that in the one next to it as well. So there's so many uses just for those dies. They're, they're very, very versatile indeed and then we're moving on to the next one which is my favorite yes I yes like the Geo you because do it's don't edgy. you it's yeah edgy. well a lot of people like it and that's why Tim sort of invests a lot of time and energy into this style because people from the get-go they just went for the style they, they adored it mm. and that is the Geo Christmas um, of course we've got the stag we've got the bulb we've got the tree and we've got the lovely star so we're gonna start off with the stag oh, good. we're gonna we're gonna do a demo with that so stick around for that that will be lots of fun so so that's the Geo there. Really, really nice. Really and lovely set. Then we come on to your favourite favourite. This is my favourite favourite. This is Nordic Winter. Now, you can see there, it creates a phenomenal background. Yeah. But you see the card next to it? Use all the little elements as well. It's great for making mini cards. Very versatile because we can use it as a stencil as well. Now, yeah. we've got a really cool demo at the end of the show using that die as a stencil. So stick around for that. Marvellous. Hey, I've got the boards here as well you've cut for us just so you can see how they uh, how they turn out and then we can show you some more samples. Mm. I love what you've done with the little um, what do you call it? The little tag, not tag? Uh, no, it's, a, it's like the little hanging, because yeah. they're usually little wire elements, aren't they? So, yeah. 
Yeah, so, the, so that's, that's how you can use these, to make, to make little baubles, to hang them from your tree, or even hang them on a card or a tag. But you can see the words there, just using those in a tag, in a, in a mm. craft card tag, is spectacular. It's Absolutely. all done. Absolutely. And the, then the reeds, even up to these little dots. You get all the little berries as well, and that dimensional bow, which we see on the side, which kind of looks like a bikini <laughs> top there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's a dimensional bow, which, which is gorgeous when it's all put together, obviously. But of course, they are sized to work around those words. As mm -hmm. well. And then we move on to this cut. Like you said, this could be a stencil. Yes, yeah, it, straight away. And I mean, if you cut it out a thicker card like that one there, you can stencil through with pastes as mm. well, so you get a bit of dimension going on. So, really, really cool dye. Love it, love it, love and it. And last but not least, these Geo. They look fabulous, actually, in a bit of mirror card. They do. And look at that. That's just mirror card stuck onto white. That's pretty much done. Yeah. You know, if you want to go down that route of minimalism, that's it. That's all you need. It's quite spectacular. Really, really cool. Beautiful. And then if you want to have a little look at some of the samples, because um, we've got loads here. Oh, this is really nice. You like that one? Yeah. yeah. I, like a bit of, I like a bit of sparkle. A bit of yeah. sparkle and a well, sheen and a shine. Well, that's using gilding flakes. And I'm not, going to tell, I'm not going to talk too much about that, because we're going to do that as a demo later oh. on. Okay. All right, let's bring this one in. Even using up some of the scraps, but it still looks really yeah, good, doesn't it? That, that is, that is. Well, I say a leftover, but I'm I'm as much interested in the pieces that come out as the pieces the, the, the as the positive as the negative. Yeah. So, but that's such a cute little reindeer with a little birdie on its back as well. Oh, how cute I is know. that? And then we've got this one, and of course you're introducing the impresslets here. Yes, the impresslets. Um, the impresslets. Uh, now that's a dye technology which both cuts and 3D embosses at the same time in one pass. So both the dye and the folder are, come together. Beautiful. And yeah. then we're going back to all those lovely little tiny elements. This is when you're going to really get into it, don't you? You like because yeah. you, you're having to be very careful with it and take your time. It's a very cool, very sort of Nordic style there yes. as well. There's, it's almost monochromatic, you know, with uh, very bright beiges, ivories, greys. Mm. You know, it's just just really, really nice. It's my kind, my kind of card making. That is, I got to be honest with you. Beautiful. And then we'll show one more. And again, oh, that's yeah. using the Nordic. Just yeah, the, the Nordic, the circle words, and one of our impresslets that start trim. That's one of two trims which come in that impresslet style. Um, I just love those colours. Gorgeous. Is, is it just me? I no, just love it's them. not. The greys and the blues <laughs> and it's really good. Now, yeah. um, let's have a look. This is what you're getting. 22 dies in total. 22 dies. Now, you can spread the cost on FlexiBuy, which is always a winner winner. Uh, two pa payments of £19.98. and pence, Or, of course, if you go for it outright, it is £39.96. and pence. Item number is 508785. Then, moving along, we have got the festive things. Festive things, yes. I, I know I love this set because it's, it's, it's all there. It's all there. We've got 12 different dyes. We've mm -hmm. got all our favourite little Christmassy kind of motifs, but it's got a kind of a quirky style, which yeah. we expect from Tim Holtz as well. Um, so I've done it in those sort of 1950s, that, that kind of mm. 1950s Christmas colour palette. Uh, but they all work together, they all work individually. Uh, it's everything you're ever going to need for your Christmas card making or any kind of paper crafting. You know, if, you're, if you've got journals, if, you, if you're into journaling, mm -hmm. if you're into scrapbooking, whatever it might be, these are perfect little elements to sit alongside anything, whatever you're doing. <laughs> And like you said, it does have that 50s feel, which a lot of the things that we've got out do. Yeah. Um, and again, look at this. There's the, it's that kind of quirky offsetness that Tim Holtz does. Yes, yeah, very much so. And, and that infects itself in my makes as well. But, you know, Tim, Tim very much, he, he doesn't... He, he, he looks at what's going on, he looks at what's popular, and he gives it his own spin. And, you know, and it really, the reason that he's so successful is that customers respond to that. Yeah. They want to do something slightly different, slightly different from, what, from the norm, mm -hmm. and that sets their making aside as well. That, that, that gives them something special, something different. Wonderful. £14.99. Really 867624. Then moving on, we've got our Christmas ribbon, which I really like. I yeah. really like I, this I, one. I really like, and we both like this, and Matt said it as well last night, and it reminds us all of the same thing, and that is Bewitched. Yes. That wonderful series. Can you wiggle your nose? I can't. No, no I can't do that no. either. <laughs> I just said it was computer generated, but it was the 60s, it was the 50s, whatever, so I don't think it was. But no, I can't do that. But <laughs> but no, this is this is just like that, and it's that lovely, that, that, that 
Christmas that a lot of us think back to, even if we weren't about at the time, mm. that lovely 1950s, all those colours coming out. It was really when Christmas was re first the Victorians invented Christmas. Yes. Then it was reinvented, sort of thing, you know, all, the, all those gorgeous colours. And this harks back to that time. You're getting two of the Christmas phrases in different sizes, mm. and you get that lovely bow. It's great for your tags, it's great for packaging, it's just really nice. And it really, just, really nice. It makes a card, if you're in a, in a hurry, you, you don't need much else on no, there. It's all done. Yeah. It's all done for you. It's, it's wonderful. I love it. 11.99, And then, right, now, this is a new piece of technology, if you will. What did you new call it yesterday? Tech. It's called Colorize. Right. Uh, and this is the first in a series of dies which are coming out uh, from Tim, um, based around a Christmas theme. And I've seen all next year as well, some really exciting stuff. Mm. But it, it's, it's quite different. Um, there are 11 dies in the set, mm -hmm. and each die has color coding on the back. So etched into the back of the die, it tells you which colour is which. But of course, I mean, you as the creator can choose your own colours, but it just gives you a guideline. So, you know, we start off, and I know you've got the little boards there. We start off with the uh, skin tone, the pink, and the gold. On the back of the die, it's etched, so you can actually see what, what that is and how it goes together. And then as we go along, we, we get the black, which is the belt, the boots, and the eyes, and the grey, which is the trim of the belt. Yeah. Now, this next one, this is white number three. Now, I know it's done in blue, but we've, I've used ivories and blues. You can just use all whites and ink around the edges, but you can see clearly there those embossed yeah. lines. Now, they are embossed with the die, and that allows you to get perfect registration when you're layering up the different colors mm -hmm. so that's uh, white number two that's the next layer then we've got obviously white number one so that's our top layer uh, and then we get into the reds now that's red two and three and it'll kind of make sense as we go through mm -hmm. what's happening now that's red one so that's our base tie that's the that's Santa's body and his hat you can see those uh, lines in there and then we move on to the next one now that's with red two added so that's red one and two mm -hmm. and then the next one is red one two and three and if i may look yeah, this one you can see that all we need to do oh i'm going the opposite way mm -hmm. is add the belt the buckle the white trim the different the different whites and the black boots and that santa's body all set and that's how you put that's it together sense. you put it together like that it's a lot of fun to do it's mm -hmm. almost like painting by numbers so yeah. if you know what of, of all the dice here it looks the most complicated but I would say somebody who's never done anything never crafted before this is actually the easiest one to do that's interesting and it's a lot of fun it's <laughs> really good fun to but imagine your first paper crafting project being this it is absolutely spectacular we'll Isn't have it? so much fun with it 20 pounds and 99 pence 587 500 now we move on to the big dies. i love this and i i keep going uh, harking on about this particular finished sample but it looks like metal the way you've done it it just looks absolutely stunning yeah uh, it's a lot of fun uh, it's, it's a gorgeous reindeer it's very elegant you can see it leaping through the forest at night time or in the daytime indeed i mean it's entirely up to you you are the maker the creativity is in your hands we just provide the tools ladies and gentlemen um, but this one this is actually gray board because we're talking about bigs and bigs cut really heavyweight materials and now this is gray board or mount board you could use as well and we use texture paste on it and then die cut it so you're cutting through all those levels all those layers again if you wanted to cut textiles you know if you, if you want to use a, an applique kind of style if you want to test these reindeers to a, uh, a table runner or to your napkins or whatever you can do that with these because they're bigs and you can cut so many so many different materials fantastic but just remember if you are new to crafting or new to us here at Hachanda or new to Sizzix you do need the wider mouth machine for these make, yeah make sure you get a machine that, that accommodates big size and most manual machines on the market yeah. and some of the electronic ones as well do accommodate big size. Excellent. 14.99, 2757, no, 673. Got another big die coming up, and this is the flourish. Yes, yes, the the oh, seasonal uh, scroll. I'm talking. seasonal scroll. I, I, you know, I keep getting. I wish they'd just call it Holly Number Three or something because yeah. I'd remember it. But yeah, seasonal scroll. But it is very scroll-like. You can see those lovely swirly elements coming off there. 
it's beautifully balanced as, as a motif uh, in itself. It, this would lend itself perfectly to a pique, mm. you know, on a garment or, or, or a table runner or something like that. It's gorgeous. There you can see it. That's cut out of marquetry wood, uh, which was mounted onto um, grey boards. So it's cutting through both those layers mm. at the same time. Really powerful cutting technology. And you can see even one of our little circle woods coming in there. Yes. Joy. A little so sneaky peek there. Cropping up everywhere. Yes. Uh, 1499-894-076. One mm. more big star for you, and this is the window frame. It's the window frame. Yeah, the window, you know what, when I, when I first saw this, I thought, the window frame, really? But you know what? I fell in love with it. As mm -hmm. soon as I started using it, it again, it's a big die. There, there are several different elements on the die, yeah. and it's one of those layering dies. So I've cut it out, mount board, or chipboard, or grey board, whatever, and I've had, sometimes I'll use there, like I painted it up and used a wood grain stamp on the front to give it th that look. And then other times I've applied um, marquetry wood to our grey board and die cut it. And look at that. It looks there it fabulous. Is. It looks so real. Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it is real because it's real wood. <laughs> it is actually real wood. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a super motif. And you can be looking through the window into mm -hmm. the home. You can be looking out of the window. Uh, 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 sort of, sub, no, from the home I know to the outside. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't look at it in the morning. But, but you know, you can do whatever you want with this. It's, it's a wonderful window on the world. No, no, every pun intended, actually. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just, just really, really cool. Really yeah. nice. Very usable. 14.99, 422, And we've got one more set to show you, which I really like. These are the Impresslets. And now 40% of the stock has gone. And these are both, you're getting like an embossing folder and a die in one. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, it's a great technology. I mean, we've seen what 3D embossing can do, and it's fabulous. Uh, we all know what the dies can do, but combining those two technologies uh, just offers instant gratification. Yeah. You know, if you're using metallics, as we can see there, it's absolutely gorgeous. The level of detail in this, but to think that you're getting the cutting and the embossing at the yeah. same time, you know, so... That's pretty cool. Um, You've used that border on quite a few samples, actually, I've used haven't it on you? A lot of samples. Each yeah. one of those is very usable, and you know, when you see when you use something and you keep going back to it, you know that you're getting good value for money. You know, Definitely. it's something that it can be used for masculine cards. It can be used for Christmas makes. It can be used for pretty much anything all year round. You know, it's just a star border at the end of the day. Even the the radiant die, you know, that that's like a starburst. It mm -hmm. could be a star. Uh, they could be kind of snowflake. I mean, the holly. Well, holly is holly. But, you know, we, so much, we spend so much of our time on Christmas makes. Mm. Having something that, that cool, that classic, is really spectacular. We've got, we've got some lovely demos with that. Not on this show, but coming up maybe on the one, one so, yeah. Uh, my, the Holly is my favourite because it embosses like a dream. Now, if you're a Freedom member, £21.57, so you do have a bit of a discount. 265299 is your item number. The number to call is 01733602000. Or here's the website because we want to show you our machine of the month, which is the Sizzix Big Shop machine. 12 pack of permanent pens, dye brush and foam pad, dye pack, blending tool with replacement sponge and multi-tool. All of that with a, um, what's that, sort of £40-ish or £44 saving. You're spending £109.94, but however, we have got this on Flexi Buy, three payments of £36.65, which is a great deal to get this. Um, so, over to you then. Okay, right now we're going to start with just talking about that star trim. So let's so let's start with that. And, and I've taken some some car. This is a sort of a, a grey brown car. What I'm doing is I'm spritzing it with water. Now, this is something that has changed the way that I certainly emboss mm -hmm. because everything that I do now I always spritz with water because what it allows it allows the card fibres to stretch. Yeah. And now that's very important because sometimes, especially when you've got a very deep embossing folder. It can crack those fibres, especially mm -hmm. when you've got a very hard card. There's yeah. hard and soft card. It can be the same way, but some is soft, some is hard. And sometimes it cracks the surface. Uh, and we don't want that. No. So just spritzing lightly like that. Not only does it give much more depth, it stops the, the cracking. It gives you much greater definition. And when it dries, it dries rock solid. So there's my star trim. I just need one piece of that. Mm -hmm. now, we, we can see it there, it's lovely, but when we apply some gilding wax, that's really going to come to life. So I'll just set that off to one side, and that's going to dry naturally. Um, but we're going to focus now, we're going to be looking at our circle words, but the Geo 
uh, Christmas set, which is your particular favourite. I like it. It's just edgy. It's a good place to start the show, isn't it? Now, yeah. Let's have a look at it. We'll cut it again out of this same same colour grey card. So we'll paste. This is our stag, and we'll place it onto the machine. So we've made our sandwich there. Just run it through. Perfect. Now there it is. You see, you've got all these little facets, mm. and I'll take my die brush, run that over the top. That just gets all these little bits out. And these die brushes, they are a great investment. Because, They're on the website, or uh, they should be. I was doing a video the other day, and yeah. I forgot my die brush, and I was using the Nordic Winter mm. die. No, and you were like, how and do I'm we like, get all these pieces oh out? Oh my goodness, so I had a pokey tool, but I was there for Hours. ages. Pokey tool comes into its own for certain things, but the die brush, oh my word, it, it's... Um, it's it's a must it's a as an investment. Grace. It sure is. Mm. So just run that over, get those final little bits out there. Actually, so that's where the pokey tool comes in for those little stubborn bits. But there we are. We'll put that off to one side. And um, you know, if the people in work saw me cleaning up as I went along, they go yeah. there because it doesn't happen in work. Very often. Yeah. Well, it happens at the end of the week. But uh, there you go. Um, but I'm going to use this again. I'm going to use this now. This time I'm putting stencil film. And I believe we have got stencil film on the website um, because this time I just want to use the outside. Okay. So, because we're going to do we're going to do something with our stencil film in a mo. So we'll make our sandwich again. Right. So that's face down onto the stencil film. Stencil film. Stencil film. I've not heard of that. Oh, have you not? No. It's something. No, it's something that you might have missed actually. Um, basically, what stencil film is. It's, it's 